We had my father die. Forty-nine times we fought that beast, your old man and me. And had a chicken head with duck feet, with a woman's face too. Oh, that's rad. And it was waiting in the bushes for us. Then it ripped off your dad's face. He was screaming something awful. In fact, there was this huge mess, and I had to change the floors. The floors? You see, his blood had drained into the boards, and I had to change them. But we all got a chicken duck woman thing waiting for us. Every day I worry all day. I was waiting in the bushes of love. Cause something's waiting in the bushes for us. Something's waiting in the bushes of love. Every day I worry all day. I was waiting in the bushes of love. Something's waiting in the bushes for us. Something's waiting in the bushes of love. Yo, never knew my dad. He didn't care about me. Dead horizon is all my macro binocular see. Moisture farming all my life and not a drop spilled. My aunt and uncle double sons and sipping blue milk. My aunt and uncle double sons. I'm sick of blue milk. But then a desert hobo came and told me we all got a chicken duck woman thing waiting for us. Every day I worry all day. I was waiting in the bushes of love. Something's waiting in the bushes for us. Yeah, something's waiting in the bushes of love. Yeah, every day I worry all day. I was waiting in the bushes of love. Something's waiting in the bushes for us. Something's waiting in the bushes of love. Hold me when I open like a flower. Hold me right. Yeah, I ain't had to bake for a girl in a long time. Do not wear that outfit again. Because I want to fit in. Sorry, you're just not terribly important to me. Did you know the Whitney Houston step you up? Her phone number one single song. Did you know that Christine? There are no girls with good personalities. I don't think we should see each other.
I'm super excited for that one too. Joe is the beard I'm going for. Is that what you're going for? Yeah. Uh, Joe says, I'll back Replicator when Rob tells me I'm his favorite. You are my favorite. Uh, Joe, you're oh, favorite. that's shit. That's bullshit. <laughs> But Studio says tonight is one of the greatest launches. Too bad Malin is not here to see it. Actually, that part is okay. Uh, well, in, in his defense, he's literally on another stream talking about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think it's yeah, that, weird. that blew my mind. That, I gotta leave. It's like it's like a, I gotta leave uh, my meeting with Paul McCartney so I can go do a podcast with some losers about like uh, the Beatles. Yeah, I don't know how to blame the losers. But no, wait, who are the losers? Are you getting no, no, no? I'm talking about. Oh my god! That was a bad thing to say. That's not what I meant. They're not. <laughs> What is losers, John? Uh, okay. Uh, Joe M. Sontag says, Hail John and Dale. A uh, meeting that we've all been waiting for. That guy, Joe Sontag, is the guy who Joe Sontag. Hey, Joe, 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 Joe. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Oh, Joe's a great guy. Joe, you know what? He's a great guy. Joe, Joe's a great show. I meant, I meant, I meant, I meant my theoretical... Beatles podcasters were losers. I did not mean my fellow commentators were losers. Not at all. Bro. Good yeah. save. <laughs> you think they'll buy it? What is going on, everybody? Look it, look it, live. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm queer. Allah Akbar. Oh. Only two of those things are true. I like that. I like that. <laughs> What's going on, man? Who's ripping the uh, paper? I think it is my headset. For some reason, okay. when I go live, hold on. All right. Let me. Wait, 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 wait. Mandy's muted. I got some static. Is that in my head? No, no, that's definitely going on. What's it mean? Hmm. That's, uh, that's annoying. Maybe. Wow. I guess it's not me. All right, hold on. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's uh, come in and uh, go out and come back in. How's that? Okay. I don't hear anymore. Did you hear it? No, it went away. away. All right. Wait. Hmm. Oh, hold on a second. Let's look at this. For a <laughs> this literally just happened as we went live. None of this was going on backstage. Hold on a real quick. I'm going to knock you all out. Okay. All right. I don't hear it here. Kayla, unmute. I'm good. Okay. So I don't I'm hear it now. <laughs> Dale. Hello. Good? Yeah, I fucked that all up. It wasn't on the right microphone. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I should have gone out. <laughs> I should have done an alien jumped in. There we screen. go. Yeah, like we figured it out. John is watching and, and judging. Just so yeah, well, that was my fault. So. <laughs> that was that was all me. That's what I brought to the table tonight. You're welcome. Oh, right. You brought, <laughs> You're like welcome. It. You brought Murphy's Law to the table. I yeah, did. right off the bat. I like that. I did. Right off the bat. Mm -hmm. yeah, Always keeps, mm -hmm. keeps us on our toes. I, I like all that, attention though. on me. Yeah, look at me. Look what I'm doing. Of you know, and that that brings it. You know, now all <laughs> attention's on Mandy and how my mic fucked up. So yeah. Yeah. Okay with it. Yeah. Hi, Kayla. If it nice wasn't that, to meet you. Hi, well, nice to meet you too. Oh, that's Hello. right. Yeah, like, I don't think Kayla I'm has down. met nice Mandy or Dale. Hello. But no, I follow you both online. <laughs> so, yeah. It's yeah, bringing people it's together on the show. To like it. What's that? Yeah, you nice. you commented on the Gem Shot cover, right? Yes, because yeah. I noticed beautiful some cover, things that I thought were really beautiful about it. Just like what you did with the diamonds pressing into her body. 
Mm. I pick up on yeah. a lot of things. Artistic. What is that called? Indentation? <laughs> I think so. But it was yeah. just, it looks so beautiful. It's so oh. well done. And just the lighting on things. So. Thank you very much. I love that. Yeah, you did a great job. It looks, that looks great. We're going to look at that that campaign as we go throughout the night. Because right. I see that you're close to 78K. I know, right? How That's close. crazy. That's awesome. It's so amazing. Yeah, I cannot so cool. even believe it. What is it like a couple backers away or one backer away? Um, two, if they back big, two or three. Oh, Not shit. many. All right, it's, yeah, we'll it's definitely, really right. close. We'll it's definitely like, jump really into close. that. We'll de- mm-hmm. we'll jump in that. Let me say out of the chat real quick. Got hail the lore. Hail. Mm-hmm. Good to see you guys. Uh Mark, hope you're feeling better, Joe. Thank you. I am. Uh last yeah. week was how's hell. your voice? Uh give better. us the, give us your lowest mm-hmm. register. Uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Still not back 100. percent He sounded uh, like the principal from Ferris Bueller. <clears throat> oh, like that. oh, that's no, that's that was that was that, that could, was bad. That could come in handy, maybe. Yeah, that I that was not feeling good last week. So thank you to everybody that reached out uh with the well wishes. I was I was bedridden for like 16 hours between Monday and Tuesday, and I was pretty much just on the couch or laying down for the rest of the week like it was it was you get the the body pains and the headache oh i did too yeah yeah everyone kept saying like they're like you know go get it checked out for covid it's like i don't think it's covid like i've had sinus infections before where they just absolutely kick my ass i I knew that's what it was i was like it'll pass it'll pass i'll get through it and i did but uh yeah it was yeah i i don't wish that on anybody probably took a good uh five six days yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just now kind of feeling 100. percent Still got a little bit of cough and stuff like that going on, but not not like it was. I mean, that was that was bad. So thank you everybody out there. I appreciate each and every one of you. I uh, got Nicholas Gear in the house. We got Tarks Nine, member of the channel. Hail to you. Good to Aww. see you. Got Tr- Trevor in the house. Arks. Peter, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. you got Survive Infinity Zero Zero Eighty Eight says Hail Mandy. Joe Dale, wait, Hail Joe Mandy Dale. Man, I love Comics Gate. Yeah. Aww, like thank you. Got here on the steadfast hail the chat member of the channel hail you conspiracies and comics hail a lot of guys in here I haven't seen in a while good to see you guys Matt Sturgis hail the chat hail to you Hiawatha yes Hiawatha Hiawatha I love saying that name it's a great name got Coleman in house hail got Ja Rowe early morning for you sir good to see you thank you for being here Baz I don't know if I've seen this name before oh yo, I know yo, yo, yo. yeah yeah Baz hail. is uh, Baz is Donnie's friend. Hi, oh, okay. Baz. Well, thank you for checking out the hey. show. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. I hope. Is that? <laughs> no, I think, so... I think oh, that's Baz, man. <laughs> no, I think that's right. I think you're right. Well, good, because you were very convicted when you said it. So you are. You had a conviction behind it. it. I, yeah, I should have yes. stuck with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lose my <laughs> confidence. <laughs> Charles in the house. Hey, oh. Got Wiley J. Draws. Uh, sleep stream. Could be. <laughs> could be. I could make that happen. <laughs> Uh, got Chauncey, what's going on? Uh, let's see this Chiodo and, and Kyo and goodness. Yes, we are going to. We're going to probably in about 45 yeah, yeah. minutes. We're going to show you what that cover looks like, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we got to eat. Of course it does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did. Came out beautiful. Uh, slacker, hey, slacker, hiya, slacker, slacker, hey, 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 East hey. W. Yeah, what does that mean? ECW. Wrestling. I'm guessing. Wrestling. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's wrestling. Yeah. I like his sombrero. Yeah, it was pretty good. Fancy. Like Fancy. Got Astro Zombie. Hail the chat. Another member of the channel. Good to see you. Thanks for being here, guys. Uh, of course, we have uh, uh, Kayla's in the house. Of course. Hi, Kayla. Hi, it's like my, you know. Double here? thing. I saw Matt Yaki pop up in there, too, and he's the one who did the colors on our Darcy oh, poster. Yeah. Yeah, that nice. was really good. And we'll, we'll definitely, this will be a little bit of a different show that we normally do, guys. Uh, not looking at any comic book art per se, but we are going to be looking at comic book stuff tonight for sure. Uh, we got Bree, uh, Wes, Dale, shot. Okay. Already? <laughs> are we taking That's shots already? Why is it going to be a little slow time? tonight? Is that what's. Did you get super chats here, Joe? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, sir. And we'll uh, see what yeah. happens. We got <laughs> Wyatt Holiday in the house. Good to see you, brother. Like Wyatt. I said, the coach is here. He was not happy about the beginning of the show. So yeah, I will say, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. I like to, yeah, I like to make an entrance. <clears throat> now, don't be, t- John, don't be <laughs> trying to like backseat draw from the chat. Joe's got this. He was happy with what I brought. That's he was right. like, that's new. 
I've never had this on my channel. I bring something <laughs> exciting. So you can't do nothing with John. But you saw John. You saw me handle it. I knocked everybody out to make sure we could figure out what was going on. Y'all handled it. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Dying. It's like it's like he thinks Joe is Joe has like sliders and a mixer, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just, I can't be control everything from here. No, no. Can, no, they can't control me. No, I like you, to I like to come in with noises, you know. Yeah, no, no sliders gonna hold me. Like that. That's right. No slider can stop me. Sorry. <laughs> Got the Gluminati in the house. Another member of the channel. Hail, good to see you, sir. Uh, Henry Bemis, my man. Yeah. See, John is here again. He said, this is a disaster. Thank you, John. Appreciate the support. Uh, start <laughs> muting guests. Yes. Yes. I did. I did. I think I handled it well. Like, it was a little loud. I get it. I think I got it, though. I think I got it. We got Bordeaux in the house. Hail. Good to see you. Uh, Rick Saylor, the man, the myth, the legend. Always. Hey, <laughs> Lebag. The Buzz Canuck. Is this Keown Godlike I, cover review? <laughs> oh dear. Wouldn't that be a surprise? That mm -hmm. might be. That would be. That would be a, a very big surprise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Steal that from John. He would be extremely happy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> almost happened. Almost happened. So that Jay Lee. Good to see you. Voyager 47. Hail Dale. Hail Mandy. No. You got Peter Cullen in the house. Dale. Said. <laughs> I like that. Matt Yaki. There he is. Hail the panel, hail the chat. Let's see this thing. Yes, mm -hmm. let's do it. I'm yeah, excited. Come on, let's that's, that's ease into it, like I said. Yeah, ease into this it. It's like your show, Joe. Just do what you want yeah. at your own pace. You can't just blow your load right off the bat, you know? Like, you that's what I'm it. saying. Now Thank hold you. it for a second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a, you know, a little bit of delayed gratification. Yeah, yeah. or else you get my fun up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> World of Conan, good to see you. John says, <clears throat> did Dale get a haircut? I was going to say you look very. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you look very like kind of put together and just like sharp today, man. See, that's the problem. He got this haircut like two weeks ago, and John is just now noticing. A oh, specimen really? like Dale, you oh, should shit. notice the shit. moment this magnificent oh. man changes something. You should be like, like I noticed within like Dale. two minutes, like, holy shit, Dale, you got a haircut. So that's what John, John don't give the love that John. That's a woman should. thing, yeah, though. You did. That I is did literally not. a mm. woman thing. <laughs> Because oh, I don't think men notice anything unless it's like drastic. Like that's a good point, though. That now, why? Point. Why do women notice shoes? We notice everything. It's everything. just who we are. Because shoes yeah. are important. Yeah. But whenever I pass a girl in the street, or sometimes and sometimes it happens, they always go like face dick. <laughs> and we're back on this conversation again aren't yeah we? it happens every time like they check your face out and then they check your dick out yeah see, I know, that is happens. crazy no, that is crazy talk that mm. has that does not happen yeah, I <laughs> I Kayla, how many crazy. times when you're walking down and you're checking out a guy do you go from his face to his dick I don't i mean so i, I don't guess it could be the gray i could Lies. be the gray sweatpants Lies. thing i guess maybe you know, like this the thing with the gray sweatpants I yeah, know it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> got Matt Gorgeous in the house. <laughs> Mandy. It's called taping. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Reaper and Gemshock, both books receiving Dale's magic touch. This this is true. That's that is true. true. We got Maromi Maromi in the house. Man. Yes. Hey, Maromi. Edwin, shout out to the smoke show <laughs> with the black hair. Oh shit. Aww. Whoa. What do you think about that? Yeah, Joe looks good tonight. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's sorry. well. I use that. Black hair. I don't have hair anymore. <laughs> Shaved it all. Peter for two says, Dale, love you, man. F the shot. Hit the bull. All right. I like that. Yo, I've been trying to do that a little bit more lately. Smoke a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, this is weird. This is like a double date or something. Oh, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Is that what we're yeah. calling this? We could. Hold my we could. Hold my we could. Hold my we got to go the fuck no, right way. I think there. you got to go that. You guys yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's... Lost fingers. Yeah, we're like this. No, that was a fail. There's no hope for us. Sorry, I'm, I'm derailing the show. We got Mike TV Dub in the house. Says, Listen to Mandy Love Bomb Dale. She's going to turn him, turn on him eventually. Oh, shit, really? Turn, turn him on out. him. It's the other way around. Turn on him, yeah. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Oh, turn on him. Oh, like I'm going to I'm gonna go like, I'm going to go rogue and like become yeah, a yeah. villain? Yeah, like you're hmm. going to go, what do you call that? Turn heel? Turn heel, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I I think I would make a good villain sometimes, yeah. you know. Then you'll come back later, you know. That's how it works. Oh shit. That's how it works. <coughs> John's getting sentimental here. He says, All oh. I want in life is for Dale and I to go out for an Argo walk. Agro. 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 <laughs> oh, damn dyslexia. 
aggro walk through Toronto at the butt crack of but, dawn. Ah, uh, let's do it. I like. I would the love thing. to do that. <laughs> we'll film the whole thing and we'll thing. yell at people and aggressively say good morning. Yeah. <laughs> and if they don't say it back, we'll just chase them down the street. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> come back. Come here, you son of a bitch. That'll be fun. Hey, Alan, extra. It's good to see you. Hey. Yeah. Well, good to see everybody here. All right, I got everybody caught up here. Good to see you. This has been a little while coming here. A week off. It seems weird. It all still has me being a week off. Um, I missed you guys last week. It sucks. But here we are. Here we are. Going to look at some awesome, awesome art. I wanted to bring up before we do anything, though, because I did see Mandy post this the other day, and I was blown blown away that you were almost at 78K on Gemshock. I like, know. That is, that is it's incredible. incredible. It is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> You just keep getting more and more with this campaign. Mm -hmm. And that I is, mean, yeah, she's climbing. I'm sure that the the finished cover here. Do you, you got this posted up here? There we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. shit. What's this? Oh yeah. No, I've. I've... Banners are funny, though. <laughs> I yeah. love the banners. Yeah, I had to do. I had to do banners because uh, you know oh. this is it's a little too too hot for you know certain cat, cat lady. ladies. So um, <laughs> I went in, I feasted it. Uh, so hopefully uh, Indiegogo will quit, like, you know, put me in a clam jam. Is that so, what it was? Uh, that? That's what it is. I, I don't get it because it's not inappropriate at all. She's covered. Completely covered. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I don't, it's, it's, <laughs> like this. I, it's, I don't understand. Do they not understand artwork and how lighting works and highlighting areas works? Or they're just a hater. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. this, this woman doesn't even understand how life itself works. Uh, and I'm not trying to be ugly, but I've looked at this every way humanly possible to see what she thinks she saw in this. And either her JJ is the most messed up thing ever, or or she she's just talking shit. I'm going with, with her. Well, she, that's not what they look like. She may have wizard sleeves. She I may think have she beef curtains. We don't she, know. She might. I bet it smells like bong water. Oh, it's shit. a bikini line, though. That is literally like a. She's literally wearing like a high cut bikini line of well, diamonds. Yeah, that's it. It's like, I don't yeah. understand. I don't think you should have had to do that. That is. But yeah, it sucks. I, I, think, mean, it, I think it's funny. I think it is funny too. I think you. I think it's a funny thing to do. A lot I of crazy has been coming out lately. <laughs> I'll say that real quick. Zach Fernandez for uh, 49, nine, $49 Thank you, brother. That is that is crazy. I appreciate it. it. Says I love you guys. You know what? I love you. Oh, so well, who do you love most? And for that, I'm gonna take a shot. Why are you gonna do well, that? I, I want to take a shot. Are yeah, we taking a shot? We're gonna yeah. Fireball. I mean, come on. That's no, are you doing fireball? fireball? You right, yeah. If you're doing fireball, I'll do fireball. With you. Oh, you got fireball. I have fireball, and then I have whiskey. Yeah, I'm like I'm like pure Massachusetts. Trash. This is like right, yeah, this is literally like a this is literally like a page. It's That's like wicked fireballs. Yeah, exactly. We don't say pissa. <laughs> wicked though. Wicked. We definitely do say. John's having the dinner of champions there. Yes. All right. Hail, hail Cheers. to you, Zach. Hail to the chat. Appreciate all you guys. Ah, mm -hmm. mm. uh, yeah. That's a good way to keep. All guys. right. <sighs> Let's get this shindig started. Yeah. Let's get this going. Let's get it going early. I just hail I think this there. cover is so gorgeous and. I wish you can pull it up without the um, thing on it, just so you can zoom in to like. The, Actually, Mandy, like, you got the, the uh, diamonds. If one of you guys have the files, share it with me. I'll pull it up. Um, if yeah. you just go under updates, I have it on updates oh, too, and I didn't edit okay. it there. I just edited it on the main oh, okay, part. Cool. So yeah, it's still under updates on edit it. Like there you go. There we go. So I look, like, full... just like if you could zoom like right into like yeah, like, at, like me... the boob area and everything just like how those diamonds are pressed into her body right. it's mm -hmm. so gorgeous like I, I still i got you i on. love it like it's beautiful it's exactly mm -hmm. what i would think diamonds would do in someone's body it's i, I love right. it it's just gorgeous like how it's supposed to be pushing up a little bit yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can see the spillage on the side a little bit. All right, yeah, here we go. Let's actually look at this. Is that is what it's this... called, spillage? Yeah, it works. It works, yeah. I don't know what you would call it. The cups, I guess. Like... I said this when you spillage when you guys over. posted this. I was oh, like, guys. this has got to be one of the best covers of the year. I mean, this thing just came out so good. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you get to see Pitt on the cover. I mean, that's just... Which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting a long time to see Pitt again. I mean, that's just badass. Um, you get Dale oh, doing everything on here, colors and everything. 
and then uh gem shock just looking awesome i mean it's just just a beautiful cover you got dude i had to get those diamonds i had to paint on top of the line art really once i started i went oh my god i'm gonna have to do all the diamonds like that it mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it came i out like great, the way it looked though. it's like There's a so painting much... on top of line art there's just so much beautiful detail in this. And I just love the colors that are used too, like the highlights, like how you were saying you put a little purple in there. It just, oh, yeah. it really looks like it's like metallic without it being a metallic cover and just the cuts on his body. It's kind of like, right. kind of cut him up. I love that. It's yeah, just, it's a little, it's, it's kind of awesome. disturbing. It almost looked, the cuts almost look too real. Like, yeah, like almost uncanny Valley. Like those look like real cuts, man. Mm -hmm. It's just gorgeous. I mean, but, but they, they do heal up very quickly. So She'd they just look right. so great together. Yeah. I like these two characters next to each other. Too. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Just, uh, contrast. It's like beauty and the beast. I mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. These characters, they fit well together. They fit well. They do. They do. They look visually, really, really good together. Yeah. yeah. They do. Oh, man. Yeah. No, uh, when they all like gave me this, I was like, are you shitting me? Oh. <laughs> my god like i literally cried a little bit because it's just thank you hey it's so cool okay. to see pit you know what i mean because it's been like forever so mm. just to see him back, and then to see him back on something that i've done it's just like mm. it's very surreal and just absolutely crazy so no i was like ah, like screaming mm. and just no it, and it's so beautiful and he's like i'm gonna color it and i'm like what you color what yeah, yeah. and then <laughs> oh like, yeah yeah and then i get then i'm like holy shit you're like really really good at that too so right. that was that's why i Thank thought you. was pretty cool because i mean looking yeah, at i love coloring it's fun yeah i was gonna say like when we looked at all the pit books when dale started uh coloring pit and you know drawing and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was really good you know like so i mean it's like you're good at coloring you're good at everything when you were actually starting to color this i was like oh shit because i thought kyle was going to color this right and when you when you did it i was like fuck this is gonna be awesome like i haven't seen you color a piece like a, this is probably like the first piece you've colored like fully in a while isn't it yeah you're right i haven't colored anything in a while wait a minute i then i always remember something that i colored so <laughs> <laughs> no i did a uh i did a shazam cover okay ah. I that one but still, I mean, it, it's been a little bit, but yeah, just this, this looks great. I can't wait to get this. I cannot wait to get this in my hands. This is going right? to be awesome. Yeah, yeah it's going to be good. The interiors look great. Yeah, it's Fernando's be... doing such a good job. Uh, Farah is doing really good with the color. No, it's just coming along beautifully. And I was really worried about this one, too, because this is the first one where I've had so many people i usually go with peter you know peter i'm used yeah. to working almost exclusively <laughs> with him him and clint and all me and my artists all have a really good like schedule we we work very well together we used to each other's mannerisms and what they're you know mm. um so when i brought fernando in i was a little bit like okay i've never worked with him before you know he's kind of an unknown he's you know he's done a few things for zenoscope but he's never done anything like crowdfunding or anything like that. Right. So, but I mean, I was just blown away with him. And yeah, I'm going to continue working with Fernando as long as he will work with me. Because it has just been such an absolute blast to work with him. And he is constantly turning in pencils or inks or something. I mean, it's just every day I check my inbox and there's something new. So it's good to have someone uh, you trust. I like it that. is. Yeah. It's, so I, I really, really, really lucked up with, you know, finding him. So yeah, he's, um, been awesome. he's a hungry artist. He Baz is. is asking Mandy, hungry, how long are you hungry. keeping Gem Shock in demand for? Um, I'm planning on fulfilling um, about the end of November, early December. I will close it down um, once fulfillment begins. I will actually close down the campaign. So you do have a little bit left on this one. Um, the one, if you're wanting to get all of my works, the one you should really be looking into right now is um, Pirate Queen. Because that one mm. is going to be closing down. I have... I will finish fulfillment on Jack the Ripper in the next two, three days. It should be done all of them out the door. Mm. So as soon as those are, all of them are out, I'm going to start working towards closing down Pirate Queen to start fulfillment on that one. But this one you do still have, you know, November, December. I'll let everybody know. I'm, I'm pretty open about, I don't like to just surprise you guys when I, you know, take a campaign mm. down when I close one. So you guys will definitely know uh, when I'm going to do it. I'll do a big stream for it and everything else. So, but yeah, uh, late November, early December. Nice. 
We got uh, that Star Wars girl in the chat. She hey, says, Anna. look at John talking about food. I think that's the first time I've ever seen her in my chat. Welcome. Hail. But yes, John is all about food. He is just going off about these uh, sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins or something he's eating. <laughs> He uh, really is enjoying these Egg McMuffin situation, I, isn't he? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he was complaining that I'm, I'm bringing up just banter. Um, well, that's because, you know, my channel is not as big as yours, John. Like, I, I, can, I can afford to bring up a bunch of people if I have to, you know. I'm not I'm not as cool as you are, John. I don't have, like, you know, 800 yeah, people you, watching me. You got all you those know? buttons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I try to interact with the chat sliders. as much as I can. Yeah. 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 I'm a man of the people is what they, is what they call me. Uh, old dirt or old press guy says, I need a pirate queen Dale Keown variant. Make it happen. <laughs> the old press guy said that. <laughs> Hail Hex, good to see you. <laughs> hey, Hex. But yeah, just uh, congratulations on that. That's just that's totally awesome. There are some big numbers right now in the Comics Gate uh campaigns, and it's great right. to see this one is getting up there. Like, uh, dare I say, you know creeping up on that 100k mark i mean you got plenty of time depending on how long you're actually going to keep it open for i mean like that's that's incredible uh, just a shout out to all the campaigns all the backers out there that push these campaigns to 100k close to 100k i mean that's absolutely incredible it's a you know a testament to the the backers out there it's, mm. yes thank yes you. appreciate you guys yeah, more than you. you will ever know like i could sit here and tell you all day how much i appreciate you guys and it still would not be enough like i truly this is this is literally a dream come true for me it truly it really is this is just the coolest thing in the world so now i appreciate you guys so freaking much you have no idea Woo. yeah without you guys none of this would be possible you know like mm -hmm. we same thing here like this is this is an absolute dream of mine to try to do a comic book and now i'm actually living living the dream of, of making a comic book and that's just mm -hmm. couldn't have done it without anybody here you know launch night was great for reaper destroyer that went off like crazy and the, the support has still been there to this day so it's yeah. it's absolutely a humbling thing that you know, we get a lot of haters out there that come out and like to Where? try to pull us down for some odd reason but you know fuck them fuck them exactly. like it's it's nobody's gonna be able to take away what we're doing right here you know like it's it's a complete this like this kind of family thing that's just you know i there's a lot of new names in the chat tonight, so I appreciate you guys being here. But there's also a ton of people here that I recognize that are here every single week, and I see you guys in other chats as well. So I mean, it's just uh, it's probably the best community I've ever been a part of. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely. Agree. Good times. Uh, Henry Beam says, "Thank you, CG creators, for giving us old school comic fans decent comics to buy." Yes, mm. that's what it's all about, yeah. man. Bottom line, Hill Lord's Reaper Destroyer is awesome. I appreciate it. I'm God putting my damn heart and soul into it. Put my heart Sorry, and soul into it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, the anvil said, uh, "Damn, just got home. Hell yeah, it's far out when. Hell yeah, it's far out when worlds glide. Dale and Mandy chilling with Kayla and Joe. Right on. Hell yeah, <laughs> I like it. I, like it. I think glide. too, like." I think too, like your both of your books are titles that would sell in shops. And I know I worked 12 years in mm. shops. So I can there tell like know. these are superhero books that definitely like have that kind of appeal to the customer. So yes, people are backing, but it's because you have a product that they are interested in and they want. I mean, I think that's most import important. You know, you created right. something that people actually want. Numbers yeah. don't lie. They want the product. And that's mm -hmm. because of you creating it. So kudos exactly. to you guys for coming up with such amazing stuff and i mean mandy you come you fulfill all your campaigns like a boss yeah. because thank you i just got jack the ripper did <laughs> you so, yay yes. yay which is yeah this great. one's kicking my ass this is my biggest campaign so far so fulfillment on this one has definitely uh it has kicked my ass but i'm so close i like i see the finish line and it's almost so everybody's gonna have theirs like mm -hmm. within a week week and a half they should be just all over the world. So I'm really freaking happy about that because, uh, yeah, this, yeah, you know, every time you do a campaign, there's a new learning curve. You know what Oof. I mean? There's something new. You're like, okay, so with this amount of books, there just ain't no room. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's going to be a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. But I mean, it really is my favorite part of the campaign because it's the point, it's what you're building up to is to get these books out to people mm -hmm. and to yeah. get you know 
to hear their opinions and see what they think, you know, and I mean, it's a little scary, but at the same time, it's incredibly exciting, you know, to get, to get your stuff out there. So it's kicking my ass. <laughs> I mean, we, yeah, can, like, we did a, we have a smaller group of people that backed our books and me and Spencer and my, we were still losing our minds over having to back, like put everything together for backers. Yes. So <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> it is. It's a lot. It's a lot more than like you would actually think. Like when I did like the original work, The Wizard, I had no idea what I was getting into. So yeah, it's, there's a lot more to it than you just don't think about when you're planning it and little things popping up here and there. And but no, I'm I'm so excited for everybody to get theirs. Like just ridiculously excited for everyone to get them and read them. Peter put absolutely his all into the artwork and Jack the Ripper. And I mean, it shows the artwork mm. is just absolutely stunning. And honestly, yeah. you know, he's working on pages for Jack the Ripper too now. And nice. he, if you can believe it or not, his he's leveled up on his art game. I mean, this one mm. is actually, the art is better in this one than it was in the first one. And it's like, yeah, worse, yeah. you're, you are amazing, dude. So now I've been so blessed with, just meeting these amazing artists because I can't draw for shit, but these guys, <laughs> I feel you. They good. They good. <laughs> uh, Matt Sturgis says Reaper and Gem Shock needs to happen. Hmm. Mm. I like that thought. Yeah, make well, that happen. Yeah. Keep your keep keep your eyes open. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we got B Rose in the house. Hell. Hey, love bug. Are you it, illuminated? Brother. Did that boy ever get a lot? Did he ever get what? A light. Oh, a light. Now, is he illuminated? Does he have know, maybe. a lamp, a lantern, Hopefully you know, a, a, a flashlight, a big lighter? Mm. Yeah, anything. Something. Yeah. yeah, just something. something. A wood yeah. match. Yeah, I mean, just. <laughs> just John, <laughs> you want to know how to preheat an oven? I like that. Yeah, you, yeah, you turn it to preheat. Preheat, mm. literally. And then pick a temperature. <laughs> and the old press guy says, just have Mandy stand in front of it. Yeah, that would do it. That would absolutely do it. <laughs> I got to say, uh, when John isn't on a stream, I don't, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but when John's not on the stream and he's just in a chat, mm -hmm. he's one of the funniest people I think I've ever seen in the chat. Because it's just random shit. Just random Very shit. Odd. <laughs> yeah. It makes me laugh, though. Appreciate it, John. What happens? I appreciate you. <laughs> um. Mal says that people need to talk about Jack the Ripper book more. It's probably my favorite one yet, along with Graveyard Shift 1 and 2. Oh, Matt. Holy shit. What a compliment. That Thank is. you. Thank awesome. you, love yeah, good, good company. <sighs> my body is sore. Went outside yesterday, took down storm windows and cleaned them all up, put them back in. <laughs> my, body. my body. My body. My body. My body. Uh, doing man's work, John. I like that. I like that. Uh, Mandy, I want to draw a picture and I'll ink it. Ooh. No shit. It, I'll buddy. draw something if you'll yeah, ink it for me. I'll draw the, something. Just do the pencils. It's yeah, fine. I'll do some pencils. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else did you do, John? Installed new garage, motion I, light. Yeah. New garage, <laughs> That's a lot of work, man. That's a lot of John's work. getting shit done over there. And <laughs> now he is winter? rewarding himself with an egg McMuffin. Mm, is that what it is? I don't All know the what the hell he's eating. And, and the I have McMuffin. no idea. Oh, I like that. Uh, okay, I saw something else I was going to say, and then I missed the comments, but appreciate you guys. Oh, yeah, here we go. Inquiring minds need to know, will we see a Gemshock Reaper cover by Dale someday? That's an interesting concept. If there's a demand for it, yes. Why wouldn't well, I? I uh... will say, I love, seeing, <laughs> I, lo I love seeing these jam covers of these CG characters. I wanted to. Even if there's no interiors, just like the guest starring cover thing that's been going on, I think it's, it's pretty badass. Mm -hmm. A lot of these characters really do go together visually when you put them side by yeah. side. Uh, so, yeah, I'd be down for it. And I totally. shout out to everybody that's done fan pieces of Reaper Destroyer as well. Like, that always mm -hmm. uh, makes me extremely happy when I see anybody draw my character. Like, it's just very humbling that people would like him that much or like mm -hmm. the design that much to want to put the time in to draw it, you know, so... Yeah, Thank you, guys. I don't know if I've said that before live on stream, so I appreciate you guys. Yeah, it's pretty great. Mm -hmm. Now pizza, next ice cream. No shame. I don't like that, John. Live your best life, John. 
No, you should have handy. shame. <laughs> he should have shame with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is such a hot. That's like a stoner meal. Like that's a hodgepodge well, of none of that goes together. I mean, the pizza mm. and ice cream maybe, but you're going from breakfast to Italian to ice cream mm. all at once. I like it. That's... Well, you're supposed to. You're supposed to eat your uh, dessert first, aren't you? I, I don't think so, Dale. Yeah. Chad, help me out. <laughs> that, doesn't say, that doesn't say right to me. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, here on the step fest, I'll be proven right. How good exactly. Jack the Ripper is. I haven't got my copy yet. Well, maybe Mandy can help you out with that. Yes. Um, like I said, I will be fully done with fulfillment in the next probably two days. So, um, yeah, be checking um your email. Um, because you may get one tonight if you're one of the um. As soon as we finish the stream tonight, I'm gonna work through the night fulfilling. So, and as I fulfill them, I drop the tracking number to you guys. So just be like checking your email tonight or check it in the morning when you wake up. Cause there is like a, a really, really good chance depending on what backer number you are, that yours will go out actually in the morning. So um, yeah, we are oh, right nice. at the end. So if you haven't got yours yet, it's, it is like literally within a week or so it'll be in your hands. So we're finishing up now. Hell yeah. See, and thank you awesome. for backing love bug. Thank you. Yeah, good point. Look at Pete Kalen knows. Pete knows all kinds of things. Mm. Thank you, Pete. I told you, dessert first. Pete's always, everybody's <laughs> always going to agree with you whether you're right or wrong. That's a good right. point. No, it's because point. you're Dale. It ain't because you're right. It's I just because you're to be right. Dale. Man, don't want it, two yeah. things can be right at the same time. You are Dale Keown, and you're always right. You know, That's what I would say. Thank Hagging you. him on. <laughs> Thursday is the last day of White Boy Summer. Oh no! Oh, so yeah, after. White Boy Summer is coming to an end. Yeah, I did. I didn't even start it. Yes, uh, you did. You've been White Boy Summer and all summer. Hell, Jerry. <laughs> Dale's like what? I have. <laughs> Where was all the fun? <laughs> it went like that. Oh, uh, I like, guess hanging it. out with me just has been just the shittiest oh, shit. shit for you and Damn. Right. Damn. Okay. Damn. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, she, she you fucking trapped me. Taking it back now, aren't we? Uh, Walking it back. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> Jerry says, "Shout out to you guys and your success. Hearing your stories about having a passion for comics and seeing your campaign successes has been inspiring." Well, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jerry. That's sweet. Uh, wait, what is it? Flat Earth Fall is on the way. Hmm. Is that what, that is that what we're calling it? Flat Earth Fall. I like that. White boy, su white boy summer, flat earth fall. Say that 10 times fast. That's yeah, it's a, a, it's a tongue twister. twister. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. It's uh, 45 minutes <coughs> into the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. I'm minutes. sorry that Dale slept through white boy summer. So just, that, <laughs> that's what happened. Comment. That's that's what happened. You slept through it. I, slept. I slept through the last four hours of yeah. white boy summer. Mm -hmm. I missed the last four hours. <laughs> I like that. You know, before I go on to uh, reveal the cover here, I do have to say, though, <clears throat> I don't think there's anybody out there that could do a four-hour sleep stream and gain, like, 600 subs mm -mm. I know. and go past 1K in one I, day. I mean, I'm that's 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 legendary stuff right there. I'm trying to forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, like, it's, it's, you got to monetize channel now. Do you monetize your channel? Not quite. No, I need right. more hours, right? And more, then, yeah. Oh, it's, shit, that's all right. Them, yeah, he's. Hours. But I mean, he's still like, but. he's a quarter way into the four thousand hours already. Like, the, two more sleeping streams, and he'll be fully monetized. <laughs> I like that. I like then that. What, what do I do then, though? Can we monetize know. your channel and start getting the super chats. No, yeah. right. you can do whatever you want. It's your channel. Start hosting ballers on your turn. You That's what I was thinking. Yeah, mm -hmm. rotate that thing. Yeah, your channel will grow in no time. It'll be up there and like you know, crazy yeah. growing. And we can crazy get you fast. horrible sound machines so you can dick with Shane with it. Oh, jeez. And you can pay him back. You know. Yeah, he needs a lot of payback. <laughs> he does. He does. Months like I said, and months of he payback. needed to be humbled last mm -hmm. week with yeah, the that issue. Was good. Because he's running a fucking muck. My hair is just Dude. so crazy. He's running a muck is the issue. And he had to be brought down a peg. You know what I mean? Mm. Well, what does he have planned for you? 
and now I'm afraid oh, to know. Exactly. No, but, um, he's actually, developing some kind of evil. Yeah, I know he is. I know he is. And I'm terrified because the fart noises were bad enough. I can't fathom how he's going to top it. <laughs> yeah, we can't quit those. We're going to keep those going. Got to find something else, though. Yeah, it's not going to You guys good. have too much fun over there. I'll say that. It's not going to be good for us. Um, <coughs> Dale Kill and Drew me a cover a while ago. I revealed it. Uh, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do with it when he first finished it. Like, I didn't know uh, who I was going to have color it. And I reached out to a guy named Joe Chiodo. If you follow this channel, you know who he is. He's a, yeah, he's a colorist. I, I tried to get him on the show. I tried to get him on. He, he was, I was this close. I was this get close. Get in here, Joe. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Uh, he's a, a legendary, in my mind, colorist from the 90s. Uh, did all the early image books that you can think of. I mean, we, we've covered a ton of them here on this channel. Um, just super cool dude. When I reached out to him, I said, hey, I've got this cover. I would love you to color it. Um, as soon as he knew it was Dale Keown, he said, I'm in in like two seconds. He's like, I love doing Dale stuff, you know, like send yeah. it on. Yeah, he does. So uh, I sent it to him and I originally, you know, this is an homage to pit number one. That's, that's what this cover is going to be. And originally I kind of wanted him to do the color scheme that he did with pit number one. But when he saw the art, he had this a uh, different idea of what he wanted to do with it. And I told him, I was but like, you know is what? Is that how it's pronounced? Homage? Homage. I mean, that's how I've just always was it homage, homage. I always say I always say homage. Is it homage? I, that's I, how I thought I it was always... homage too. Yeah, I'm homage. country as hell though, so you can't go by the way I say stuff, but that's I've always called it an homage. I was, so I thought it was homage. Yeah. It's chat, what do you call it? Is it oh, well you spell it the same way? I won't know what you call him. Uh, Rick for ten dollars. Thank you, brother. Says Dale's a fucking king. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like this Rick. So after seeing Dale's art, when I showed it to him, he he loved it, and he's like, "I have a different idea of what I'd like to do with it." And I was like, "You know what? That's fine. Um, you do whatever you want to do. I just want something original from you. Um, it doesn't have to be the same color scheme as Pit Number One." Mm -hmm. And he hand painted this thing. Which I thought he was going to use Copics or something, but he hand painted this thing, and when he sent it to me, I was just blown away. Beautiful, beautiful How did piece. He do it? Um, did he uh, print yeah, it actually, out on a canvas or no? No, actually, I he I sent it. Art yeah, I, I printed it out on an art uh, specific art board that he wanted to use, and I sent that to him so he could physically do it. And uh, yeah, he hand painted this thing. So without further ado, I'm just going to bring this up because this is just too damn awesome. So here we go. This is the fully colored cover that still needs to be tweaked a little bit and you know dressed up and all this kind of stuff of the joe chiodo colors over dale Keown reaper destroy variant cover here we go holy fuck oh nice oh wow, wow that's beautiful that. oh my i wonder what he what did he paint that with watercolor gouache what is that i can't tell I'm I, trying to no I love how i look into the screen like it makes it closer and i can tell because i see texture <laughs> in it. i do it every yeah. week with looking at any art i'm like oh let mm. me see I love yeah. what he did. That's that beautiful. is beautiful. Oh yeah, it blew, yeah. it blew me away. It blew me away when he sent it. When he sent yeah, it to yeah. me, I was just like, "Oh my god!" Like that so is those fucking... are acrylics. You think? Or... You know, uh, maybe. I'm I can pull out and look at it real quick. I haven't tried it? To... Maybe, maybe. Can Joe get in the chat? Like, what... yeah. Can you text him? Can you text him? Yeah. I'm uh, curious. I want to know... hit him up. Let me hit him up. See if he'll I jump did... in the chat. I'll just. Uh... I don't know. Yeah, if I mean, works. that's yeah, that's kind of like safe, yeah. I guess. I want to find out, like, what is it? Is it acrylic? Is it gouache? Is it watercolor? I'm looking because I see texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like oils. Yeah, let me let me could mess be oil. Yeah, uh, I probably just worked on it and then had to dry. Probably not even dry yet. It's Joe. beautiful though. Joe. Yeah, I know it, it. Absolutely, absolutely blew me away. I'm like, this was just. <clears throat> A gorgeous cover and yeah. seen it in person which i'm gonna show you guys here in a second uh citizen ronan hale said looks like acrylics to me it might have been it might have been i honestly i don't know too much about painting guys so like looking at it in person i can't really sit here and tell <coughs> what it actually is um uh, i just i love what he did with the color nice. A lot mm -hmm. of like different blue tones that he lent in, yeah. a lot of like grays, blue tones, and then the red really, really pops on it. Mm -hmm. And then just yeah. leaving this white here. Like I, I'm pointing my mouse at it like everyone can see what I'm doing. But just like 
leaving this here and then the dark underneath it you can still see the cross hatching too you can still oh, see yeah, the really. lines within it too on the face which that's a good paint job because he didn't co cover up those beautiful yeah. lines on the face. yeah yeah right yeah and the, uh and the hood almost has a texture to it yes Oh, I love it because there's so much movement, you know. There's still a lot of energy there within the cape and everything and just the hood. So also he did that uh that Frazetta thing where you kind of blur the edges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? yeah, so yeah. it sort of focuses in, in the middle where the you know all the business stuff is. Yep, because it want you want to draw your face back to the center exactly. of it, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And Frazetta was a master of that, and that's like the mm -hmm. dark around and yeah. Uh -huh. we, we talked about that on an episode. We went over like a Yeah, bunch did you ever see that that video of him talking about that? Yes. And he it's gave good. his five characteristics, which made his artwork stand out. Yes. yes. I saw that. Mm -hmm. I that twice. Hey. Too good. Um, I'm going in video. now to make sure that I did get this cover when I backed because yeah, I, I was going to say, guys, yeah, I, make I, don't sure really, you I got backed this. you so early on. Like, I think I backed on your launch. Yeah, me oh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, because I didn't add this until um, the second 30 days, I think, well, I mean, what was what I did. did I I, the only thing Joe is missing from his campaign is a t shirt. Mm. <laughs> that's the only mm. thing yeah, you really should, should maybe think about adding a t-shirt because i uh, totally, i would totally get one like a hundred percent is especially like this artwork oh my god i would wear the shit out of that anyway so been, joe, joe chido where if he's if you he can hear me i actually i love what you did here joe it's great yeah i sent him a message we'll see if he jumps in the chat or not let's see We'll see. Let's see if he jumps in. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is this blew me away. Like, I can't wait to get the actual uh, dressing on here. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> like get that the actual cover. Logo. Um, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. The yeah. and then you have like uh, the name of the company, the logo. I don't like you are. <laughs> I love that you're saying it like that now. You need a, you need a good logo. What? What I like to what I like about this, and <clears throat> I am a, a comic book geek when it comes when it comes down to it. I've um, been following guys like Dale and Joe since I was 12, 13. That's true. So I just love seeing I think I still got the fan mail. Hell yeah. That's oh, awesome. I need, I need to see that. I <laughs> that I need awesome. to see that because you said it and I need to see it. Because that's like unreal to me. I can't like I can't believe it. I want to go back and look through my books to find. Yeah, I mean, about? I think I still have, I still have all the original fan art that was sent to me. That's so cool. I just never, I just never threw it away. I mean, well, you know, I got like, RT Bear in the house. Hail, good to hey, see you, brother. Art. How you Everybody, doing? go check out Black and White. That book is looking art. awesome. Yeah, it's good stuff. I retweeted. I like. Okay, and I did. I bought your regular cover, that cover, the Dale cover, and then also the Black and White Ash Can. So. I oh, nice. I, I got Thank this you. one coming too, which I'm super excited about. Because thank you, I appreciate. Yeah, I mean, your I, other cover is amazing too, but I mean, th this is just so beautiful. Like, look how the red pops. I oh, know. It, it does too. It like, is I know. this is uh, oh, oh yeah. Let me pull out the original here in a second. Let me, one second. I mean, I'm just so impressed that despite painting, he wasn't able, like, he didn't cover up those lines, like the yeah, uh, yeah, like, I know. In the, because so it might times, it might be acrylic then, you know, because you can get maybe. that opaqueness, uh, yes, trans mm -hmm, mm -hmm. transparency. I'll be a bunch of washes. No, it's definitely like just gorgeous. Did your uh, grandma? Did your grandmother say wash instead of wash? Throw the R in there. Put the R in things. Mom didn't. I know. We just say wash out here. Thank so. you, Matt. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hatch padge. You know what, Dale? You do a yeah, I agree, Massachusetts I agree. accent. You do the A's correctly, which we don't Bill even Burr. do A's correctly. So, <laughs> yeah, a lot of good comedians come out. They got Bill Burr, Louis C.K., and <laughs> are they from Massachusetts? <laughs> yeah, yep. my well, Massachusetts got some funny motherfuckers, don't y'all? Exactly. You got, I mean, some good, you got some good ones. It's also when you come here, it's like clown world sometimes. <laughs> uh, it depends. You know? Warshes. Yeah. Warsh, what is a washes? What's washes? Warshes. 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 Hail one wicked evil. 
death reaver. I like that. Bless you. Is that a sneeze? I couldn't. That was know. kind of a cough. Uh, a, oh, okay. It was kind of a cough. Uh, okay. Um. Right. So this this is the original That's right the here. Original. Holy! Oh my shit. god! It looks even better. It does. Yeah. It actually looks better in your hand. How that is possible, I don't know, but. Yeah, this is uh owning this this piece is this is great. I'm gonna get this framed mm, at some yeah. point. Yeah, that. But this was just that yeah. Glass. Yeah, it looks like great. that was that was one of the cool things about sending this off to him was getting the actual original back. Mm. Right. Because it was look like at that. Look at the done. signatures. Ke uh, Keon and Chido together again. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna say that would make a really pretty poster and would look mm. really, really good on my wall if you ever decide to maybe yeah. make the art a poster and then charge extra to put it in a tube or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it would look really good on my wall. Is all I'm if, if there's enough demand for t shirts and posters, I would gladly put those up on the campaign for sure. I would definitely sure. not. But that would look that would be that would be a badass poster, wouldn't it? It, <laughs> would, be, it would be beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> you no, make, a it would poll. Be. make a poll yeah. on your page. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, on the actual uh make campaign page? Like, you know, make a poll on your campaign page, on your Twitter page, on your Facebook, whatever you got. See what people say. And then Oh, a poll. Okay. Yeah, oh, poll. okay. I got it. <laughs> yeah, okay. have people vote for what they want, and then you can <laughs> give them what they want, then right? Because then you'll know. It won't be like a cost that you're, you know, you're investing in something that you're going to benefit from, you know, mm -hmm. so people are going to get the products that they want and they're happy. And then you generate more income so you can put it all back into the next book that you do. Exactly. So see, it works. Win, win. Like mm -hmm. Yeah. I Same. vote yes for t-shirts and posters, says Peter. There you Thank go. you, Peter. Thank so you. Well, because I'm really wanting him to make these so I can buy them. Because <laughs> <laughs> so you want you. them. I want them. Yes, no, this poster, it would look so good on my wall. I'm not even joking. It, and I would love to like have a t-shirt and be looking real cute. So, you know, wearing it out so people can ask me about it. I can be like, oh, you don't know about Reaper Destroyer? What's wrong with you? You <laughs> know, because every time I wear one of the comic skate shirts, there's usually one or two people will ask me. I don't know if it, it's ever like led to any sales. But I mean, like almost any time I wear one out, one or two people would be like, hey, what is that T-shirt you're wearing? And it gives me a mm. chance to talk more about comics, okay? And, uh, you know, exactly. it's, it's always it's always nice to have a reason to bring up something that you love and try to get people, other people involved, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I wear them to the cons. Yeah. I wear them to the cons and have people pull up the campaigns. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, yeah. It's it works well. And Kayla, I absolutely love your accent. Everybody if you does. ever yeah. do a bitching Great. out somebody stream, will you please let me know? Because I really want to hear you cussing <laughs> somebody. I feel like it would sound so cute. Like I would, <laughs> like I think you would sound so yeah. cute yelling at people. So no, I love your <laughs> accent. It's adorable. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like um, I sound like trash <laughs> all the no, time. No, I think, didn't Valen tell me that I should take the i was telling him how i was told i should take uh speaking lessons and he said he said a name and all the people that were famous after they learned how to speak properly <laughs> i must have missed that one it sounds like something <laughs> that sounds wrong. That sounds wrong. <laughs> i think we were definitely like pr pretty tipsy on this show i know i was but i remember was, this, that. was that the last show we did or two shows back with John. Yeah, yeah. It was it was the one where I tried to color uh Edwin's work. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, everybody loves Kayla's accent. It's the same thing with Sean. Everybody just likes likes accents. Oh my god, like if it. Sean was here, we'd have like three different amazing you accents would. going You're on. Mandy, Sean, Kayla. Mandy's accent too. I like the southern accent. I do like it. I wish I could talk like that. I could try. I wish I could it, talk so. like you. So <laughs> maybe we should maybe we should get in a back room and practice until we can talk like each other. Mm -hmm. We could definitely do that. I think we could. I think we could totally trick people. They'd never know if we're off cam. They'd never know who was talking. Never. That could be We'd master it. We'd we master would. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, low crack is from Massachusetts. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. I don't hear his accent as strong as I do with Kayla. His accent doesn't Kayla's got seem... a pretty strong one. Yeah, that's that's for yeah. sure. You can definitely hear right. Jeremy's. That's you know, no I doubt. I think yeah, I think I can. Really? I, I must be mute to it or something when he does it. Or I've never heard him. I mean, I've heard him excited and stuff too. I've just, I don't think I've ever, 
don't think I've ever like noted like <laughs> Kayla I noticed immediately. Oh, she's from the north. Like I didn't even know where, but I know <laughs> that's a that's a northern accent. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I didn't know that with uh with Lord Crackhead. So well, everybody's yeah. jealous of the Michigan accent. That's well, he's kind of got, got a do. funny sounding voice to begin with, so it's hard to tell. They don't got <laughs> what he doesn't have a funny voice. Am I from Jersey? We just established I'm from Mass. I'm not from New Jersey or New York. <laughs> like, do I New sound York. like I talk like this? Like, do I sound like I talk like this? Like, That's I good though. God. That was really good though. <laughs> literally, like I would literally go to New York to work New York Comic Con and I go up there and all my Patriots gear would never pass. And I got talked so much shit on. And you know, now we don't have Tom Brady, so I can't talk as much shit, but I still will talk mm. shit because you know, fuck them. I don't care. I'll be a Patriots yeah, fan right. until I die. Yeah. I don't care if Tom Brady's with us or not. But you know, I would just wear my Patriots gear. I would get so much shit. So much shit that this guy in the military actually took off like one of his exclusive military jer- jerseys and gave it to me at the end of one of the shows. It was really? like awesome. So I have this jersey that's like an exclusive um, Brady jersey that they only gave, gave to people when they did like the overseas tours because I just argued all day with everyone. <laughs> like, <laughs> just... <laughs> I gotta go. We gotta go back to that cover because we just got distracted. That the not the cover. Yeah, we gotta go sorry. Back to the, your I was campaign. letting you guys talk for a second so I, mean, I could. Like, look at like that's so beautiful though. Everyone Up should be getting the now. destroyer tier. With the destroyer tier, you get like everything. Yes. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. yep. Everything. The destroyer tier, you get everything, including this badass cover that we just showed. This is coming. So if you get the destroyer tier, you're getting every single cover. The full. uh Full foil ash can, which I don't think I've talked enough about here, but it's the ash can that, that I did earlier this year and late last year. I did two different versions of them, but this is a completely full foil version of it, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. The only person that's got a, a version of it right now is Mo Biggs because uh, he won it on opening night uh, that we had this. So, But, uh, yeah, you get this. You get uh, a statue. You get every book that we put out, the, the ash can, uh, obviously all of the stretch goals as well, but – this is definitely included. So if you got the destroyer tier, then you guys are set with this cover. But I just want to show that I added this to the campaign. This is ready to go. Um, man, that looks so good. <laughs> it just, really does. It, it really, you know, the more I look at it too, now, like when Dale brought up Frazetta, that's now mm-hmm. more all that I can think about just <laughs> because of like the darkness around it, the light in the middle, you know, mm-hmm. I, yeah it's just beautiful i'm so happy that he didn't cover up like any of the cross hatching within the face and everything yeah he used it yeah, yeah. no it's the colors are very haunting it's 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 so perfect The holy shit it's amazing yeah i was wondering what he was going to do with it because he did this right off of dale's original pencils you know i mean i darkened it up as much as i could and printed it out <clears throat> for him but this is you know this isn't over an inked piece so i was wondering how he was going to uh go about it and he absolutely just nailed it with just the, I mean, the dude's obviously, he's a legend. Yeah. He's a legend for a reason, you know. Yes. And he's got a lot of really good paintings out there. I will say this, Dale. Um, I did before I said it. I went through just so I could have my hands on this a little bit and just brought up a little bit of this cross hatching just a little bit. Right. Um, so I could say that was part of the cover too. That was it. <laughs> digitally i it kept the same good. color like I, I copied the color of the the pencils digitally and i just went through and just kind of like thickened it up so that yeah. it nothing would get lost uh so yeah. i could say like i was a part of the cover but looks yeah. great it's beautiful there it I, is i see like not only haunting i feel but i see like a look of determination and i'm going to take over the world that's yes right. yes oh, in the face shot yeah. yeah there is so much expression in the face mm-hmm. and in the eyes especially especially and just yeah. right in this area it's so expressive uh no there is nothing bad about this cover everything about it is just fantastic everything. well seeing what dale seeing what dale did with this with the character um absolutely brings so much expression to it because you know it's a mask so there's only so much you can do so much you can with do but mask. you can still see it that's what makes yep. it so incredible he, is even mm-hmm. with yeah. the mask you can see the express like kayla said you can see the determination behind his eyes and the way it's kind of you know i, I don't mm. know i 
can't yeah. describe it, but it's fucking beautiful. Oh, it's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like Dale you know, actually it's made like, me change the way I've kind of drew, drawn his face based off of oh, based really? off this picture. Yeah, yeah, because I saw some of the stuff that you were doing, and I was just like, oh man, it's badass. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna steal you, some of that. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna take some like, of that. I'm gonna take some. You know, of it's that. gonna sound a little weird. Have you ever seen how Bernie Wrightson did Batman, like with this cowl? And uh, mm. all right, so oh, yeah, yeah, the way that Dale, like you did. The, it's like kind of what Wrightson did, where he gave like so much expression with like a full cowl. With a right, face, I with remember eyes. that. You know what I'm talking about, and that, I yeah, mean that like, like in the, the best compliment like, ever. Like, like, like all the <laughs> put all the anger mm -hmm. uh, wrinkles in the mask. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he's supposed to strike fear into bad guys. So yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I get like place that kind of. I get that from this kind of. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know, like if you were ever influenced by Wrightson or anything. I don't know your oh, yeah, influences yeah. or yeah, he's in there. But he's in yeah. there. Okay. Sure. I think Wrightson is probably in every artist. Yeah. Like yeah. I have every artist I've worked with, they always, you know, <laughs> I've never seen one that's like Wrightson. Who the hell is that? You know what I mean? Like right, everybody. Yeah. He's just he was so amazing. Like just beyond comparable to anything. Right. So it's just. Right. Uh, he was a genius, honestly. Yeah, I went through yep. a real rights and phase. Yeah, master of I mean, light yeah, and yeah. dark. A master and of light and yeah, dark. Absolutely, mm -hmm. it, yeah. it reflects. Which I mean, it's not a bad thing. Iodine, it's a uh, it's a chin strap, so to speak. If uh, one day you're going to see him without his hood on, and there's a lot more to his armor and stuff yeah. that I'm not yeah. revealing. So you're mm -hmm. going to think he's like this, like like looking down, like this, and gazing mm -hmm. up. Yeah. That's like the angle. I mean, yeah. if you show a picture of him like straight on, so maybe, um, Joe, if you pull up like another um, picture from your campaign, so you can, right. you know, yeah. they can see like the full body. I mean, look at, oh, I love, <laughs> I love the black and white. <laughs> I, I'm big on yeah. line work and just. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. The colors yeah. on that is freaking fantastic, too. Kyle, but amazing. With that, with that, Kyle? Kyle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yep. it, critter, look at him out there, just killing it on there. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah, and I knew it, once once Kyle out. said he would do the book, I knew that I, I'd hit the jackpot with that because I was yeah. like, his colors are going to bring this book together <laughs> yeah, the way it should be, and he's yeah. absolutely killed it. Killed he's it on amazing. the. Yeah. I mean, my favorite page is. I mean, what that's he did with this favorite. page. Oh shit! Insanity. Mm. Yeah, no, that's. And wow. we worked on this quite a bit, like different color schemes and when we decided to kind of throw in the, because this is a, this is a nightmare. So it's supposed to be kind of trippy. Mm -hmm. So we threw in something like these different colors. And I told him, I was like, look, dude, I got no problems with like purples and, and teals and stuff like that within comics. I think it looks dude. pleasing to the eyes and stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. well, so he's like, he I did, got an idea. What he does, he's like, it's like there's a complimentary color going from mm -hmm. green to the purple complement and then works its way to red. and orange. Yeah. So it's no, got it's... every, it's got everything in there. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. Joe. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, 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 no. It's it's absolutely. It's exactly what you know. He was like, I got an idea. He's like, I want to experiment with something. He's okay. like, you tell me if it's too much. And he sent me back some of the stuff he was working on. I was like, dude, run with that. I was that, like, go no, with that. That makes the that's page, looking right? awesome. The color scheme makes the page. Along with the non-traditional panels, I love non-traditional panel layouts. Like I, I love this. Yep. <laughs> me too. Me too. It's so Thousand fun percent. to look at. Uh -huh. There's so much going on, you know. I just I love this because the story that this page tells alone is exactly. yeah. it's like a dream sequence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, this and is so good. One one thing I was like pointing out, which is why working with Kyle is so so fun. Like this um this scene originally he was just supposed to be kind of floating in nothingness and when mm -hmm. we're coming up on him. Mm -hmm. And uh he had this idea of having him do have him actually sink because he's supposed to be floating in water. I'm not going to exactly go into that because it's kind of a spoiler for the, the story. But I, I had him floating in like this kind of liquid, let's say. And he's like, hey, I have this idea. He's like, what if we we sell this, you know, this nightmare feel of, of of drowning, of like sinking down? He's like, you know, you ever have that feeling where you're just kind of like sinking. You can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. So he actually went in. And, and this is what I like about Kyle, just the storytelling that he brings with his colors. It's not just like, hey, I'm going to color the piece for you and send it back. He actually dives into the story, what you're trying to do, and he wants to bring yeah. it out and be a, a storyteller with his colors. Mm -hmm. And he was the one that kind of added in some extra water down here to make him look more like he's actually sinking into something. Mm -hmm. And when he looks up, the dream or the nightmare shifts and he's thrown into like this hellish, this atmosphere. 
And uh, when he brought that up and he kind of showed me what his idea was, I was like, dude, that's genius. Like, why didn't I think of that? Like, that's just it, because it works you know, perfect with what I was trying to do storytelling wise. Really and it just seems like it was meant to be. So uh, Kyle brings more than just color palette. Like he actually has a lot of really great ideas of what he wants to do storytelling wise, which dude is an absolute dream to work with as far yeah. as as far as just working on comics. The guys got a great, great imagination. Mm hmm. To me, the panel is almost a reminiscent of like a fractured mirror or a fractured glass. So it does provide like some introspection, like if you were looking into a broken mirror almost and reflecting wow. things back at yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, but I look at things on a deeper level. <laughs> so. No, no, I see it. No, I see exactly what you're so. saying with that. No, I, I see it too. And mm. absolutely. No, you guys are just kill Reaper Destroyer is fucking awesome, dude. Thank have you, you had a cry yet? Like, uh, or are you uh, too manly to admit if you have? I don't know. You no, may be if, too manly. I, no, I would. If I actually cried, I would. I would admit it. Like, I welled up on on launch night when when we ended uh, Bancroft's stream. I think at the end of his stream, I think we had raised it was like seventeen thousand two hundred dollars or something like that Amazing. on his stream, and it blew me away so much that I did. I like, I welled up, you know, mm -hmm, like I felt mm -hmm. like, because it was a, such an emotional thing yeah, to see yeah. everybody come out and support the book. Like they did. Mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't cry. I didn't cry on screen, which was great, but you know, like I did, it, it was just, just try it. It was, I'm going to drop the link into the chat right now for anyone that has in fact Reaper destroyer. Um, because you should back it. <laughs> this yeah, is I would, yeah, I would absolutely appreciate if you guys did back absolutely. it. Yeah, absolutely. We are you're sitting gonna at... cry, You're going to cry when you hold your book. I'm going to pre-warn oh, you the day I'm that you to. they come in and you open that first box and you hold your book. Oh, man, I can't wait. I, that's it? the hardest I've ever cried. I'm a, that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. I'm going to smell it. Smell yep. it. Yes, absolutely. you have to I'm smell it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I love that book smell. <laughs> But you're going to be so gentle with it because you don't want to break the seal because they're still like seal. You know what I mean? So like you're just right. and you want the backer to be the first one that actually cracks it open, you know, but you'll yeah, I still smell my book. Thank you, Mike. They smell so good. All then again, I, got, I like sniffing shoes and books. All got the shoes. ash cans. Having the ash <laughs> yeah. cans come in. I'm glad you clarified. Was... <laughs> right? The ash cans were the first time I actually got to hold the, the version of the book, you know, in my hands mm -hmm. so i know that that was special to me but actually seeing the finished book all colored up and uh, yeah with some yeah, dale artwork gonna on it yeah, yeah you're gonna, gonna you're gonna wear love it's gonna be cute How? what kind <laughs> of paper, what kind of paper uh joe what kind of paper are you using for the cover is that um, is it a glossy is it a matte i haven't quite decided yet so what i'm gonna do yeah. is i'm gonna is spend some satin? extra money i'm gonna spend some extra money i'm gonna get some different physical proofs of different uh there you go. paper because yeah, i want to see what, what it's it like. like yeah i want to see what it looks like in person so once i actually come up with that idea when it comes time to actually print the book um i'll probably get a couple options out there and go with the best the one i like the best you know, like mm -hmm. the, the i think book that is, with uh with glossy you get a deeper black right? yeah, yeah you do you do I'm definitely going to get one with the glossy with the texture for sure. on like the cover you did dale if you I don't know, just if, personally for me, when you have texture like that, I always like to use the mat on those just okay. because it, I don't know, something about the gloss, it makes it when you turn it at points, you can't see all Plus the, you don't get fingerprints. Yeah, I always, but you know. That's why I want to get physical have, proofs of different, yeah, different kinds. So I just want to see how it feels, how it looks mm -hmm. a person, right. you know, how it smells, you know, like there's a lot of things I would like to see. So I'm going to do some research <laughs> before we actually go and, and print it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to use just yet. Uh, Jasper Hale said, <clears throat> is it going to be printed digitally or offset? Um, I haven't figured that out yet. Mm -hmm. To yeah. not be printed digitally, don't you need to have like a really big run of that though? Or am I off hmm. on that? I'm still kind of learning a little bit about printing. Yeah, I don't know what it's like I mean, now. I mean, I'll just say like from what my experience with newsprint is, um, don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't yeah, do definitely not doing, don't. Yeah, yeah. Definitely don't, not doing the Because newsprint. after yeah. what we dealt yeah. with was horrific i mean but we wanted to go with a certain feel for our book yeah mm -hmm. so i mean it's really hard to find newsprint things i will say though <laughs> your ash can your ash can was very good quality for an mm -hmm. ash can 
yeah, a lot of people like that. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I've been keeping that in mind. A lot of people like the paper quality. You know, I, mean, I, I got a lot of good feedback on mm-hmm. on the ash can in general, just how mm-hmm. the, how it felt, how it read. And yeah, so I was no, like, right, I'm gonna keep so that good. in mind for for the feel of the book as well. Um, there's a part of me that would love to experiment and booty. Yeah, <laughs> she put it out there. She's getting a whistle for it. <laughs> I would love to experiment and get like a uh, uh, Dale. You remember the the old image oh, paper, right? Good. Yeah, the pit and all was printed out in the beginning. Mm-hmm. I really love that kind of feel of paper. I don't know if that's matte or whatever. Well, or, hmm. but that was cards. It was like kind of like a cardstock kind of, but it was very thick. It was good quality for yeah. back in the day. I would yeah, love to get an experiment uh, with that. It wasn't glossy. It was like a uh, yeah, almost a cry, a hybrid or something. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's. I would like to see if I could duplicate that thick. a little bit. The paper see what was that looks thick. like. It was thick though. It was. It was. It, there was something about that kind of paper that really and it holds up today. Like when you read an image book from the mid '90s, the the things unless it's torn up, they are they are strong. It's a strong yeah. comic. Holds up today. Yeah, overprint. <laughs> Uh, love paper sock talk pizza. <laughs> I f- I'm getting really hungry. The more that John keeps, I feel like I want to go get like an ice cream out of the fridge because we, I mean, Frieza, because we have, we have like more of those strawberry baths here. And I kind of think yeah. I'm going to let this cat out. That's being a demon. I like it. But well, you got some strawberry crunch bars over there. Y- yeah. That's like what we have. Like the little crunchy things all over it. Yes. I love oh them. Oh, my God. I love them. Like little strawberry shortcake ones. That yes. That's so exactly good. They are. Are yeah, they I ice, love that. ice cream? You guys talking about ice cream? Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm like going a- to get one. <laughs> oh, I've had those. They're good. <laughs> They're so good, right? John has turned uh, the stream delicious. into food. Now we're talking about ice cream. <laughs> yes. Ice cream okay. is next. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm definitely going to let this demon out real quick. So I'll be right back. Uh, when will Reaper be fulfilled? Only thing stopping me from backing. Um, I'm aiming at doing, aiming at fulfilling it July of next year. So if you're holding off on backing because of that reason, that's fine. Just wait until it gets close to backing. I got no problem with that. Yeah, none whatsoever. Uh, the book is being worked on right now. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Um, I was talking to Kyle. Kyle's been really busy doing stuff for Ethan. Mm-hmm. Obviously, when I got Kyle, he was in the, in the midst of doing Cyber Frog, Wreck Planet, and everything else that he's got going on. So he was able to take a little bit of a hiatus. To knock these pages out so i could have them for the campaign mm-hmm. um since then he's been trying to get back and do some stuff for me uh he started working on the cover again so hopefully i'll have my regular cover uh colored and done so i can show you guys that coming up soon as well so mm-hmm. maybe fingers crossed i have all the covers colored and ready to go here to show everybody because mm-hmm. that one is going to be that one's going to a- absolutely look sick when kyle's done with it yeah. he's experimenting with a couple different um that's so that's my cover right there if you guys haven't seen mm-hmm. it yet yeah, <clears throat> you're working on that. That's yeah, badass. yeah. Super proud of it. I'm, I'm, you know, mm-hmm. this was uh, inked by a Matt Bat Banning, another absolute legend in the God. industry. Matt. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking just killed it on you this just page. Like, yeah, on this cover. That's <laughs> Jay. Like, holy shit. Casual. <laughs> that is that is freaking awesome. Now, when you told me that that was doing, I was like, what, what? Yeah. <laughs> like what, what, seriously, that's so freaking cool. And he's he's just you know another legend. He's incredible. Mm-hmm. Now he's Kayla's making me all jealous down here. It's John <laughs> kept bringing up food. You know, it's John's <laughs> fault. It's John's fault. Yep. With For a grape, fries. what Zevia? Z- oh, Z- Z- Zevia, Zevia. What Zevia? is that? Is he's... that one of those health drinks, or is that a beer? I, I don't know what beer a beer beer drinks. A great beer. I don't know. I don't Defend know yourself, that. John. Is that a wine cooler? Yeah. Is he drinking wine? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Is like a- Thank you. Thank you, old dirty fatty. Yeah, this um Bat did an incredible job on this. Uh so with this this book in general, I've gotten gotten to work with some of my absolute uh legends I've looked up to in the industry. Uh I grew up a fan of image comics for the most part when I was in my early teens. I mean, mm-hmm. like I was an image made reader like that was that, that was my company was image yeah. like i liked marvel i liked dc but i mean i was image number one diehard yes I and know. i i grew up with obviously dale uh joe chioto matt bat banning joe weems and i've had the the fortune and in, in in being blessed enough to work with all of these guys on this campaign and have them do something for me so like this is this is beyond a dream come true just in general for the campaign, let alone it doing as well as it has. You're sitting at 52,000, almost wow. 53,000 on this campaign, 790 backers. 
for a first time creator. I mean, like it's this entire year, this entire thing has just been unbelievable to me. Like I'm, I'm completely humbled every time I think about it, uh, that I'm in this position and I get to work with the people I'm working with and been backed with the people that backed me. So it's just, uh, you guys have made this, this year an incredible year. And I just, thank you. You know, like Aww. that's all I can say is thank you. Oh, and again, I have to <laughs> say just how, amazingly proud of you i am because i know like i said you told me before this book was even like happening that you had yeah. a good you know you kind of told me your idea and everything and you know you I've, I've heard so many people say they're gonna make a book and they'll tell me all about it and then i never see anything else you know i guess they just don't end up doing it or for mm -hmm. whatever reason but you said you were gonna do it and you have absolutely fucking Done killed it. it. Everything Thank on you. this campaign is just top notch. The art, the the colors. I know the writing is going to be just absolutely phenomenal because I've read that can. Um, so I know right. the writing involved. So I mean, I just I'm, I appreciate it. I'm just yeah. so incredibly proud of you for this because it is Thank a you. beautiful first campaign. You're doing incredible. So yeah, and you both have very image inspired characters. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, thank that's you so why much. They, they fit together. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> there is a there's a giant pocket of people out there, I believe, that just they absolutely miss that style of comic book, that mm -hmm. style of character. Uh, I mean, despite what anybody says, you know, image was this this huge thing in the mid 90s, mm -hmm. you know, like in my, throughout the 90s in general. Uh, the characters that they created, you know, iconic characters, you which know, the darkness spawn, like all these characters that were yeah. created in that time. There was an wet, attitude that works. Come Pit? on, what about wet work? Oh, wet work. Yes. Come on, wet work. Yep. <laughs> there was an attitude. The of, Max. The Wild Max. Yes. The Max. Yes. Wild, yeah, Wild <laughs> I mean, you could go mm -hmm. on and on. I mean, it's just, mm -hmm. it, it's insane. It was, it was the attitude era for comic books, right? In the 90s. And Image absolutely had it. They were just cutting the edges. They're cool. Mm -hmm. And yeah, at we some were. point, that went away, in my opinion. You know, <laughs> it oh, went it away. you don't see it. Yeah, it absolutely did. Like, well, I'm still cool. Yeah, I mean, of course, of course you are. I, of course I, you I are. But like, coolness, I kept it up the whole time. But That's like right. mainstream, That's right. there is absolutely nothing in mainstream to get excited about. You know what right. I mean? Like, there is, there is absolutely nothing that's coming out that I'm like, yeah, fuck right, yeah, yeah nothing. <laughs> There's nothing. So thank yeah. God for Comicsgate because I get my fix. You know with with you guys and with us you know as opposed yeah, to exactly, you know yeah. going and looking at the new releases and being like oh i guess i'm gonna go and pull some back issues out of you know these long boxes down here let me dig for an hour and see if i can uh -huh. find a back issue or something because none of this is gonna work for me back issues so, are manga that's what sells yeah. <laughs> but there was i i know firsthand <laughs> I will tell there you. was an attitude I wanted to kind of bring back and just it, one, it's just my, it's my influences, you know, like <laughs> I grew up wanting to do a certain style of comic book. My art style comes from all the guys that I grew up idolizing in the nineties. Um, that's just unabashedly, that's where it comes from, you know, like, so when I was producing this comic or coming up with this concept, that was the whole idea is like, I want to bring an image style comic book to the modern day, you know, as much as I can, because image isn't image what it used to be. No. You know, no. so I wanted to bring that feel, that vibe. And ever I since I started I showing off. So it's, I haven't even checked to see what they are. I mean, I, I, I don't mean, know what they're yeah, doing. Ever since I show, started showing off, of, you know, the art to this character going back to, I want to say 2020, right before, or right when COVID, COVID was kind of ramping up. Mm -hmm. um, that's the first thing people were saying is like, dude, this reminds me of, uh, you know, image reminds me of darkness. reminds me of yeah. this. Reminds that me was of spawn, the, blah, blah, blah. You know, like. Yeah. If, uh, that's what I thought the first time was the darkness when you showed it to me. I was like, oh my God. And yeah. yeah and which I loved. So it's absolutely, as soon as you showed me this, I was like, I'm down. Like I didn't even have to like, check to say like do i have it in my bank account it was like i don't care it, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting this so like within seconds of you showing it to me because it is you have really done such a good job at recreating like you said what we loved in the 90s most of us are right like kids from the 80s and 90s and this yes. is the kind of artwork yep. that brought us into comics in the first place so i mean good. yeah no it it reminds me so much of like yeah the old school image stuff and it's just so beautiful and i'm so excited um i just i can't wait to find out what happens i can't wait to just delve into the story and like if 
find out why he's you know about to choke slam this guy you know i want to i want to yeah, know everything yeah. you know so i'm really you can yeah there's mode. i think uh, go ahead Kayla. I, I think just that you know the the universe that you're building for reaper destroyer and just like within the ash can the writing that you have i know everyone gets really caught up within the art because the art is so beautiful of this but the storyline it matches the artwork you will not be disappointed with the storyline from what i've read and from what i've heard i mean this is going to be a killer storyline the character is just everything that's going on there is a lot within there i mean Jo well, Joe just gonna talk about it without spoiling it. There's, it's, it's so yeah, hard to do, isn't it? It, 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 it is. is like it's. I can the best time I have talking about it is when I'm talking about it with uh, like you guys or people like that, where I'm just right. like really talking about the story because I don't mm -hmm. have to worry about spoiling it. Yeah. Um, because that's the first thing I want to do is is <laughs> tell yeah, people, it's, why, I'm, it is tell people why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, like exactly, it's, it is the absolute hardest thing as a creator um, to not let spoilers out it's so hard for me like me and peter have this thing like mandy don't tweet this and mandy don't say this and because i'm so like i'm just so excited to tell everybody about it but i feel like i'm i feel like i'm not giving you guys like the the extent of what the story is but yeah. i really can't because you know i want you guys to to read to find out as you're reading it you know while you're in it you know what i mean so yeah hey don how are you love bug yeah because you're doing good. I mean, Yo, literally yeah. i want to read a line out of this ash can because it's in front of me i i want to oh read yeah it. read us one. Oh, you're yes. gonna do a dramatic yeah. reading a dramatic I reading it always sounds dramatic with my voice i like it go for it <laughs> so this is out of the ash can guys that i put out earlier this year i put out a gold and a foil or gold and a silver foil version of the ash can I got the gold one, <laughs> 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 but no. So, um, this is like at the last page of the ash can. And this just stuck with me because I just, I love this. And it's like fear. How do you control people? Fear. We are the puppet masters pulling the strings and they are the marionettes dancing to our every whim. I have seen the beginning and I will be there at the end. These sheep will give me everything. And in the end, call me their hero, their savior, because of fear. What? That's that is fucking so amazing. amazing. Boom. Like, mic drop. That's awesome. Thank you. Like, Love it. So it's not only the art is like subpar. The art is amazing. But the storyline, if you didn't read the ash can and get how uh, just... Not only the storylines like fun and action packed, and but there's just some complexity in there. It's just overall just fucking awesome. Yeah, it's, those, I can swear on this channel. It's fucking awesome. Absolutely, it, it, it really yeah. is. It gave me goosebumps at that when I finished reading the last bit. I had like goosebumps. Like it's so good that no, I'm dude. You fucking killed it. Is it? I mean, you killed it. This is Thank going you. to be. I think this one is going to be um, one of the probably top 10 comic skate books i'm really fucking stoked dude like beyond stoked for this well you know i took it just basically took all my influences right like you said mm -hmm. like we all kind of all of us of similar age whatever age that might be mm -hmm. we all uh come from a similar point in comics and i just took what i loved about comics and made that into a comic you know and, and mm -hmm. I, I hope that that just resonates with people today that you know i'm, I'm a big in, I'm, I'm a big guy into conspiracies and like all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up on conspiracies and, and a bunch of other stuff. And I just took everything I could think of that would make an interesting story and wove it into one thing. And hopefully that all comes out within the writing. Uh, you know, the story is a very, it's an, it's an in-depth story. There's twists, there's turns, you know, I, I want to keep people guessing on what's going on. Uh, I want you to think, you know, one thing about a character and then we're going to do something with a character that, that completely shocks everybody, you know? So uh, it should be a fun ride. And, Obviously, there's a lot of uh, onus on action because that's where I come from. I don't make boring comics. I don't like to read boring comics. Mm -hmm. You know, I want some good action, but I also want a good, fun story behind all of it. So, so far, the Ash Can, just for as short as it is, has in has really been uh, resonating with people. So that that makes me very confident and excited to keep on going with the story. It's compelling. It is. And it's it's compelling. Interesting. And that's mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> John, it's absolutely compelling. 
It's because I ate the ice cream. Wait, what did John say? I missed that. John so no more room for ice cream. cream. failed. That's because you shaved your face and now you've lost your power. You're like the guy from Metallica that started like not being as good after he cut his hair. That's why you looked different the other day. Okay. Yes. It's, yes. I feel, like, I feel like I need to take a shot to this campaign just because. Oh, let's do it. I'm, I'm, still, trying to to kill off, I'm still trying to kill off my white Walker bottle. I have like this much left. Oh, shit. Oh. Like we'll take a I shot to a uh, Reaper Destroyer and Gem Shock. Uh, Two campaigns single handedly keeping the image, vibe, feel, energy, mm -hmm. and excitement alive. And that is awesome to be a part of. Yes. So, Cheers. hail everybody. Ah, uh, yes. I'm out of fireball. <coughs> Otherwise, I would have. Hail, really thanks. With the fireball. Fireball is my fireball. drink of choice. Have that you tequila. tried pink, Whitney? Mm, yeah. I mm. have been in love with this. So yeah, someone gave that is your me, drink, is it? That is yeah. my drink. And it made me. I got sick, but I don't know if it's because I was mixing it with. I was drinking Fireball and then had. Pink oh Fireball. yeah, no, I've I've done that exact same thing, and it made me super sick. But like it gives you like I a had fat, to leave a the head, you know, like mm. fat head too. Like you feel like your head yep. like is a lollipop or something like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've so done that too. You can't mix, <laughs> can't mix them, but um, it is a really no, good never vodka. Mix. Never if mix. you like vodka, it's it is a it's a very sweet vodka. So very sweet. Hmm. It's Too good. Sweet. But Mandy, you should get an endorsement from them. I wish I could. I'd I'd work for free vodka. I mean, <laughs> I'd, I'd totally be down with that. My husband worked for free liquor for years, so. That's yeah, how I feel I about Slim Jims. Good transaction. Slim Jims. Hail, yeah. Noah. Good to see you, brother. I would uh, love a Slim Jim sponsorship. <laughs> John is always welcome on this show. Anytime he wants. Uh, Rage Tally is almost <clears throat> is also keeping that 90s a lot. Yes, it is. Rage mm -hmm. by Shelby Robertson. Mm -hmm. It is. <coughs> There's a few Shelby's people. amazing. A few, few curators. I think, you know, uh, Phil also, Diaz. Yeah, yeah. Big comics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keeping that 90s vibe going as well. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all about that. There's actually this really there's this jam piece I don't think anybody's seen yet, at least in the public, of uh, a couple characters that I'm hoping we get to show. It. We gotta Phil, we gotta figure that out. I know you know what I'm talking about. There's a jam piece out there. We need to figure out what mm. we need to do with it and show everybody Ooh. at some point. Because uh, um, yeah. it looks absolutely awesome. <laughs> awesome. I want to know, but I'll wait until the back room and pester you back there to tell me. I yeah, yeah, I'll actually, I'll, I'll show you. It's it's fantastic looking. Um, hail Luke! Everybody, go sub to his channel. You just crossed one K subs. Congratulations on congratulations, yeah, Luke! That's amazing. There. Good job. Nice. That first one K is hard as hell to hit. Is fuck yeah, it is. That's a struggle. So congratulations, love bug. That's awesome. Uh, Luke, I'm gonna make you a mod. Drop the link to your channel. Let's see where you at? There you go. Drop a link in your channel so people can go check it out and sub to it. So, congratulations. <coughs> Try, hell yeah. Yeah. Trying to bring I think back. I haven't that added time. a shocker emoji yet. What is that? The shocker. Ooh. The shocker. <laughs> the shocker. <laughs> Doing the big ones. <laughs> yeah. Why well, haven't they or added Or if you want to be real fun. Yeah. If you want to be real fun. I'm horrible. I I reversed. I still don't. I don't get it. What is it? The oh my god! Do you know what the, the shocker is? <laughs> is it like a taser? It's like yes, a it's exactly yes. what it is. Yes, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a sexual taser, I guess you can call it. Let's be honest with Dale. Come on, yeah, Dale. I need to know this stuff. It's maybe. two in the front, one in the back. back. Dale. At the same time. At the same time. Mm hmm. Wait He's like, what? He's trying to do that. Trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, I love what? Bill. He's Hail so Smith. innocent. I'll tell where? you. I'll tell you later, Dale. I'll. I'll. I'll what? What goes it where? To you. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain what? this can... while we're not live. I'll... Yeah, I was just gonna say. I don't think we can really do like you know. I think we're no, gonna get demonstrations here. here. I can't do a demonstration Maybe. here. So you'll have to. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you, no, wait, these. demonstration not on myself, god damn it. I just realized how that sounded. I was just about to say, like, wait a minute. That is not what I meant. What are we talking about here? We yeah, you hit 90,000 90, when you can do it. Oh shit, there you go. <laughs> do not sign me up for that. Damn, god damn. You don't Mandy, have to be on camera. 
But, <laughs> oh my god. You want me to just describe <laughs> what I'm doing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 90,000. I like that. Good stretch goal. Oh, I think the audio would be pretty good, actually. <sighs> Oh what i'm the only guy Dale, oh. i love you my god <laughs> oh, you I, feel, me. I feel weird now i was gonna <laughs> cry laughing right now <laughs> i'm sorry you guys are more advanced than i am holy mm. shit <laughs> that's that's what they think i'll teach you a thing or two promise Portal. oh what <laughs> <sighs> Pass you said Dan we, you said you would snore stream you thank you too. appreciate it Appreciate it. Uh, oh, Red Velker is having an art auction what? on October 1st. What happened Beaching, to uh, He got really full. Okay. And he couldn't eat his ice cream. I think it's a shame now. He's hiding his face. Mm, yeah. That makes sense. That doesn't sound like John. No. Uh, well, yeah. Not he's the John the, I know. He's got the link if he wants to come in here and defend himself. All right, come on in. Get in. Dale, here, are you though. taking another shot? Oh, I don't have a shot. I just with automatically you. did it. Oh. I'll, I'll have another drink with you. I saw you reach for the bottle. I'm like, what? I'll not? absolutely take another drink. That's how it's cr that's a crutch, right? That's my crutch. Like that, you know, that's turning around, getting the drink. Mm -hmm, that's what we say. Rolling a spliff, smoking it. <laughs> Damn crutches. Anyway. I love how me and Mandy have bottle bottles, and you guys have like classy. I know they're, they think they're classy. You yeah, know what I like, mean? They're fancy. You know? I mean, oh, what's classier yeah. than drinking whiskey out of a White Walker bottle? <sighs> right? No, just put it in a paper bag, and you got the whole thing. <laughs> right, I got this Fireball in my plastic bottle here. You know, oh, those are great. That's fancy. Mm -hmm. Once they start doing them in plastic. yeah, and you drop it, you don't break it, right? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I love that. You can buy Fireball at Walmart now. And what? at the gas station, yeah, my gas station Not has a I little live. has a little basket of like fireball shooters in it. Oh, I've seen like, those. Yeah, and they're selling them at Walmart now too, which is I that's what you said. Sucks. We oh, don't shit. have any of that shit. We literally don't. Like, really? No, we you can't maybe it in. just ain't moved up north yet. And maybe maybe it it's should. gonna travel. Yeah, because you can, like I said, you can go to my like little local gas station they got a giant like basket of little minis up there for like i don't know like three dollars or something they're not even expensive they're really but then really cheap again, like oh. how violent <laughs> do people get down south i'm curious because i don't know if it's like because massachusetts people we're crazy well the ones that are actually from here not the ones that moved here and right right yeah you guys don't take shit it, nope. it depends on if it's at the trailer <laughs> park or not if you go to the trailer park, they're getting kind of rowdy in the trailer park. But no, usually with Southerners, um, we are really, really nice until we <laughs> until we're not. You know what I mean? Until we're not all of a sudden. So because so, yeah, because yeah, I went down south and I was shocked by how nice everyone was. Like I was like, I, I didn't know someone like pulled up. We were driving to Florida, actually, which like down oh, you know, Florida is all the way to the yeah. bottom of the map. Mm -hmm. So someone pulled up and the first thing they're blinking their lights. And the first thing I'm thinking when they pulled up beside and rolled down the window, I'm like, Road they're going to fucking shoot us. Mm -hmm. Like this, we're going to die. This person's like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I never seen a Massachusetts license plate before. That's cool. <laughs> like that is awesome. What a nice license plate. So that's a Massachusetts license plate. And I was like, oh shit. I thought we were going to fucking die. Like, <laughs> I, like, cause if someone rolls down your window out here, you know, they pull up next yeah. to you. You something's going down. No one. And see, uh, that's if I came up there, I would end up getting shot because if somebody pulled up, told me to roll down their window, I'd be like, "Hey, dude, what's up? What's going <laughs> on over there? Where are you going?" Like, hey, yeah, it's the opposite. Bitch, you know, and shoot yeah. me. So yeah, it's absolutely yeah, now very. Place. The South is incredibly friendly. It really is. It's a. That is true. It's a very, it, we are very, very friendly people down like, here. Genuinely so. friendly, not like California where they're like fake friendly. Fake, no, know? no, fake, it's, it's fake yeah. ass friendly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like if you got a flat tire here, you mm -hmm. wouldn't be on the road, on the side of the road for a minute and a half before people are stopping to help you change your tire. And not, not, just, <laughs> and not just because I'm a girl, but like they do it for God. Yeah. Too, just, right. You they know, drive it, right by you there. Like some people would probably yell, like they're like sucks for you, nerd. Sucks for you. <laughs> Hope you got AAA. <laughs> like, 
I've always yeah. had a great time in the South when I oh. when I've been down there on tour and everything. Like people are just they've been great. Like yeah, that and the music scene down there is a lot right. better. It's fine, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Southern hospitality is definitely it's definitely a it's thing. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. It's a damn thing. Uh Good ones here. This is oh, you got one. yeah, your cat's jumping Aww, in here. Monet's here, the money cat. So, Aww. I think uh, like a, that's a pretty big cat, right? No, he's Kayla. a baby. Oh, yeah. is he? It must be. Long. Oh, so Kayla's got a campaign, uh, that she wants well, to talk about real quick. It's only got six hours left. I only have six Kayla. hours left on our second chance campaign. So, yeah. this is I work with Death Curse. Um, if anybody follows Death Curse and they follow Spencer Desmond and Jeff Elkins and some of the stuff that Ryan Wynn does, then you would know we're all part of Death Curse. So, basically, we did a second chance campaign because of all of our damages that we did. So, we are selling our damages, caught damage damaged copies and our um, copies that are not damaged pretty much um, at cost. That's pretty much what we're doing. So um, if you are into horror, sorry, give me one second. Who is texting me? My younger sister. <laughs> I just have to make sure this is okay. Sorry. So um, basically if you are into horror, we have two grindhouse horror um, type stories. Um, Shelby Robertson did a variant for us. That's yes. just, and it's going to be a blood foil variant. So super excited about this. It's going to be. Um, that looks awesome. It's going to be sick. So basically, um, if you back, the books come to you instantly besides the newer variants and like the T-shirts, things that we have to print now. Thank you, Mortal V, for sharing that in the chat. Um, do you want to play the trailer since it's up? Yeah. Yeah. So we had a really cool trailer made. Make sure you share sound because we had a soundtrack made and everything. And it's like pretty cool. What's a man to do when he set up and left for dead by his own den in a world gone undead? Kill them all this fall when hell is full. Bastards inherit the earth. City of rot. Patched in, snuffed out one shot. A black and white outlaw horror graphic novel. Rated X for excessive and sadistic violence, nudity, drug use, and adult Ooh. language. I like it. Back it today on like Indiegogo. It. That's it. It's just going to like fade out the music right out. Institute 99 made that. Like we're definitely going with a total 80s feel. I was just going to say 80s stuff. vibe. Absolutely. 80s vibe. Yes. So City of Rock. I mean, and it's zombies, now the voice, the bikers, strippers. Really yes. Oh, you are naming all the kind of things yeah. I'm into. Yeah. We got <laughs> zombies, bikers, strippers. We did got it all. The, uh, Mandy, did you hear the voiceover? I did. I did. I was Just listening. Music. I did. It's I was got still like, uh, here. retro eighties music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It's great. It really so works. That's that's basically what we were going for. That's why we did newsprint. However, we got totally like we got totally fucked over by our printer. <laughs> so they were supposed oh. to refund us. We have stuff on basically. <laughs> Bill strip us. I know strip us, <laughs> but we got really totally like screwed over. So we're stuck with all the damages. So we're just trying to get them out there. Like we're selling them, like basically like pack them up, give them out for Halloween. So city of rot is our zombie comic book. It basically follows Hank. Um, he's part of the wizards of war, which is a bike gang. The bike game basically left him for dead and he got to navigate through the zombie apocalypse. And, um, it is gory. And uh, action packed, and we have sexy women in it. Mm. And then the second book was because of all the issues with the printer, we um, released um, Return to Camp Rainbow, which is basically our final gore, uh, final final girl slasher horror book, which that's going to go on for thirteen issues. So I'm the editor of everything for Death Curse, and um, yeah. This is just our second chance campaign. So it's very affordable. You can spend like a couple bucks and get some books. If you're having a Halloween party, you can get some damage copies. So the damage companies are not damaged to the point that you can't read them. They're damaged to our standard. They're not what I would put out in a comic shop. And they're not what I would want to give to someone that is collecting a comic book. 
They're not so, mint, right? No, they're not mint. Right. They're not. They wouldn't get a nine eight, in my opinion. Right. Right. They wouldn't even, you know. So they have some slight hairline tear, tears, some kind of issues with like some some of the pages, like. How printing on newsprint works is it goes through um, basically like it goes through on a roll of newsprint and there's some like, how can I put it? It's like a buildup of newspaper on some. There is some color issues. There was the big white line thing. I mean, they're all completely readable, but they're not what I would put into a shop. <laughs> Do you know? Right. They're not what right. I would want a backer to get so we were very transparent and very upfront like you know what you're getting um and they're they're just good to hand out if you want a reading copy you know <laughs> you're not going to collect it but we have our undamaged stuff up as well too and then our newer variants which is one is by vince rush and the other one is by shelby and then we have a bunch of people doing cards um, I'm surprised more people haven't backed Shelby's variant, to be honest, because it is sick. <laughs> yeah. That blood well, Shelby's variant is sick. Yes. Shelby's awesome. Shelby he rocks. really is. He really is. Great. Yeah. Uh, so, Rick Saylor for five. Thank you, brother. Says the lost page is two, uh, three backers away from 600. Let's get it. Oh, that is awesome. What up? I like that. I like that. Very Let's cool. Let's take a look at it real quick. Lost pages and CJ vacation. I mean, Phil is doing a lot. Mm -hmm. He's killing it, man. Phil is killing, killing it. it. Did y'all see the towels he got in? I did. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. really. They look really, really good. Uh, All right, I wanted... so there we go. Five hundred and ninety-seven three from six hundred. Yeah, this is this is a book looks awesome. Mm -hmm. This whole series that that Phil's got going, Phil and his brother mm -hmm. got going with the lost pages is great. Um, the silhouette, the uh, the people ash can. Right. Oh my god. It's awesome. I, like I honestly feel yeah, like this is sick. Like, sick character. This should be like a silhouette Reaper Destroyer crossover because visually they look good. And then if Gemshock and Pit team up with the Crimstone, that would be also really mm. good. It just would work really well. Just saying. Yeah. Visually, it would look really well. I like the things you're saying, Kayla. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest, say, I'm liking everything you're saying right now. <laughs> No, this is Phil. Phil and Brandon have been absolutely killing it. I'm mm. so thankful that they, yeah. you know, came over to CG. Uh, not only are they funny, um, they they really bring something. Like I loved Magic Cop. That is still in like my top five favorite books in CG. I genuinely loved that story. So, um, I love me some Phil and Brandon. I like Absolutely. everything they've done so far, and they have done a lot. They're really quick with fulfillment. They, mm -hmm. I mean, they're just on their game. You know what I mean? They're they're on it. Phil is a great yeah. writer. He is He's very versatile. I don't think mm -hmm. he gets enough credit for his writing ability. I've said it all the time. Phil knows. I say it to him. It's mm -hmm. nothing new that he hasn't heard from me. Um, he is a very versatile writer. He also can write poetry. He's a great really? writer. Yes. Oh, Phil, oh, oh, Phil's writing poetry not, now. Not, not to me. Poetry, not yeah. to me. No, not to me. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, no. Phil, I don't want Phil, no, Phil, don't want no poetry write, in my Phil comment. can write poetry. You don't have to worry about that. Don't it's put just no the poetry versatility. In my <laughs> the versatility of what he is able just to do. all produce these poems. Never wrote me no goddamn poem. Oh, shit. The fuck, Phil? I don't get a, I don't get some roses or red or nothing. I actually uh, <laughs> oh, damn. I actually saw Bisley at a Comic Con, Ooh. one of the last cons I worked, and I had I had him sign his cover of the Lost Pages, and I asked him <laughs> about like doing the cover, and you know Bisley, he's up front, you know, he's like. This book got everything. You know the cover. This guy, yeah, he got he got toxic masculinity got right there. Guy. Big nice muscles. This girl there, she got the boobs. And this one, Crimstone here, it's a really cool character. Like he just <laughs> just going going on, you know. Um, but he was like, you know, he he was like psyched to do. And I asked him like, if you could do one of the characters, who would you do? And he's like, well, this one here. I mean, he said Pitt. So. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. It's okay. They all say pit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, y'all were talking about crusty socks in the chat. Yeah, I, I hate me. And I yeah, hate when, socks. 
and when Phil comes around, the, when Phil <laughs> Phil makes socks crusty. He's been, you know, there there is a rumor that Phil will, you know, there's a few crusty socks in Phil's room. <laughs> yeah. I don't. That doesn't make what sense. What did I? What did I? What did I miss? Is there something I don't know? <laughs> I, 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 I missed the beginning. I missed the beginning of it. I don't know how it began, but uh, there is, you know, the only the only other time I've ever ever had cr uh, sticky socks was when I was drinking uh, Fireball. So maybe Phil is. Oh, and oh, he spilt yeah. it all in your shoe that night. Maybe Phil is secretly <laughs> drinking so Fireball. Funny. <laughs> No, that's that's I not do have why the uh, that's yeah. not why the socks are crusty. But I'm not gonna. I think if you guys think about it, you'll probably figure out why a sock would be crusty. Oh, I know. Oh my God, I don't know. I've heard about a casting couch rumor. Now I'm hearing about you've yeah. been there, Joe. <laughs> I, I was there actually. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, they oh do have God. a they do have a casting couch. What happens there stays there. <laughs> That's, That's right. what they say. But yeah. do you believe in them? You know what I mean. They I think they you. got. I think they got a separate OnlyFans. Yeah, I went in there and like Phil was sitting at a desk <laughs> with a cigar, and he was like, "I'm making a star, Mandy, a star. Just sit down on my yes. couch, you know." And yeah, I don't know. Like, like those fake casting agents, mm -hmm. like the two of mm -hmm. them, the brothers. They yeah, put on the then, white boots and the glasses. <laughs> <That's sweet. laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm just saying. I was there. I saw it firsthand. Okay, all right. Me and me and four of the people. Was it were exposed crusty? to the casting couch? Was it crusty a little bit, or well, did they spray it off? I'm just wondering. Cookie. Joe is uh, not a rat. I, yeah, I, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't yeah. I'm not gonna speak about it. Go Joe on. says <laughs> to picture him naked after every stream. Now That's I'm wondering deal. what happened. Oh, I move on from that conversation. <laughs> Let's not dive any, any deeper into that. I want to oh, know man. because I've never interviewed Mandy. No I, you know, I've never interviewed Mandy, but I have interviewed Peter. Peter came on my channel. I interviewed him. I had an amazing interview with him over. Um, right. I want to pull up the book because I have it. I literally opened it here on Joe's show the other week. I haven't even gotten a chance to like, I just thumbed yeah. through it. Haven't gotten a chance to read it. <laughs> pull it up. Phil says everyone's welcome on his couch, by the way. That's mm -hmm. that's the absolute mm -hmm. truth. It is. But like, I, I want to know that about Gemshock. <laughs> I want to know more about Gemshock. I backed it. I backed a t-shirt and everything. Oh, thank I like you. Kind of T-shirts, And I just think it's such a cool character design. Thank How did you, you come up it with the character design? design? I, believe it or not, I was I was looking. It was strange because I was looking up. Um, I think volcanoes or di I was actually googling something with volcanoes and diamonds and all of that. And I started. Th I was just kind of sitting here, like you know, as usual, thinking about stuff. And I was like, I wonder if they've ever like, because I can't think of one that actually used diamonds in this way. And you know, the old saying, "Diamonds are a girl's Great best friend." friend. Yeah. It mm. seems like they're should have been at some point so i started like googling it you know trying to find out are there any characters like this after i came up with the negative like okay this this just generally does not exist the way i'm picturing it i think i went to dale first and i was like hey dale. i kind of got an idea but i want your opinion on it and after i told dale he was like no that's that's amazing yeah let, let's do it so yeah so well, you had, whole, yeah, I mean, you had there the you whole go. thing pretty much fleshed out already. Yeah, I had it already fleshed out by Very the time surprised. I went to Dale because it doesn't take me long once I get an idea in my head. It's just, <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere until I get everything on paper. Yeah. So, yeah, I worked it up. I drew a little uh, kind of, and I mean, my art's nowhere near like you guys, but I drew up a little example of what I pictured her to look like, and then I sent it over to Dale. And, yeah, me and Dale just sat there and kind of, you know, yeah. Like went back and forth, and you know all of that stuff, and yeah, we got Mackenzie now, and so yeah, yeah. and oh, you got your jacket. <laughs> what happened? There's a link for Jim. I did get in it, the chat, guys. Oh, the jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so I, yeah, I just I I you know I've always been again you know I liked Witchblade, I liked stories, I mm. like that. So I just kind of. I'm kind of like Joe on that. I usually yeah. take things that I loved 
and make them into my own. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, absolutely. Just, yep. I take, I, you know, just kind of what I love and bring that to my own books. And so that's what I did with Mackenzie. I just, I wanted to, there were a few key things like with the villains. Um, I put a lot of work into the creation of the villains. Um, and the powers, honestly, I mean, you see that she can grow diamonds out of her skin. But yes. there is so much that is going to be revealed within this book that she can do with this mm -hmm. that you wouldn't think she would be able to. But once you start thinking about it, you're like, maybe that That's could work. That could actually work. So there's actually a lot more. She doesn't just grow diamonds out of her skin to protect herself. She also has a quite a few powers that she can use, uh, you know, defensively. So mm -hmm. nice. there's there is a lot going on with this that, like, I haven't really revealed yet. Um, she can use lightning at points. So mm. I mean, there's really? there is a yeah, there is a no, ton of cool. stuff that she is going to be able to do with this, and all of her villains are just totally vicious. Like they they do not play. Um, there's afterlife, <laughs> and he literally has like eight or nine different power sets that he can use because of the way that the, you know, the gyms work. He actually can do a lot of different stuff. He absorbs when he kills uh, another hero, mm -hmm. he absorbs their power as well. And that is his Ooh. power. So every hero he has killed and believe me, he's, he's going through them. They're trying to eliminate all the heroes of the world. Nice. And most of them are in hiding and not coming out for fear of what they'll do their family because they'll attack the family to try to get them to come out right um and then you have riot how she has a sonic scream which of course with mackenzie you know the screen busts all the diamonds mm. so it leaves oh. her very invulnerable yeah. when she's Sound up against like... riot house so she has oh. to figure out a different way to you know but she has to hit a certain frequency right yes yes it's, mm -hmm. it's a very yeah very very I mean, high pitch and just shatters easy. it can't be easy to break down no it I you know car alarms are going off yeah, you know yeah. windows yeah, uh, are glasses busting. Yeah, yeah windows are breaking. yeah <laughs> and then um sever everybody's is, hearing aids like what the hell yeah, exactly <laughs> exactly um if a human hears it uh, it will literally like explode their brain within their head. Uh, so yeah, it's, her her power is very very vicious. And then uh, Sever is the mastermind of mm. all of these. He's like the leader of the organization, and he is the one actually using these relics to create super villains mm -hmm. to work for him. Uh, so yeah, and he has his own set of powers as yeah, well. Yeah, what um what is going on with him? He's got like this laser sword coming out of his arm, Mandy. Yes, yes, is, yes. A laser. Wait, 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 wait. Laser sword coming out of the arm. No, it, yeah. I'm oh so God. glad I backed to this book. Wait, I, I am. I love this. A laser yeah, sword coming out of the arm. I didn't. I didn't think he would have any powers. That's awesome. No, no. He has. He also has been uh, collecting uh, relics himself. Yeah. Because mm. what happens is you don't just find a relic and it it attached to somebody. Right, yeah. it, no. they, it has to yeah, it's like, uh... pick that person and kind of do a bond thing with that mm. person. Um, so Sever himself has uh has his own set of powers. Um, I will reveal those at the story go because I think it's gonna blow you guys away what I'm doing with him. Now there's um, something about Mackenzie inside of her that's different then. Yes, yeah. Now it would have yes. to be her heart. <laughs> something, yep. you know. Yes, yes, there is. <laughs> um so yeah, he's the only one. Sever is actually the only one who has figured out how to extract powers from the relic. Yeah, there's the uh, and, energy, to, like the brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. and I'm not gonna tell you guys right now what that is, right. but you guys are gonna fucking love what his it looks pretty are. cool though. It it's it's cool. a very very cool what he can do. Can she suck a golf ball through a garden hose with the, the right? <laughs> if you buy her dinner, yes, you gotta be a gentleman. That's what you, I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I mean, yes, but <laughs> you're gonna have to treat her right. You can't, you know, <laughs> you can't just go pick her up off the street. You know what I mean? You got to do her right, but you know, you know, <laughs> Sheldon you Martin just, that? just made a comment. <laughs> 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 it will give you a shaka. Shaka. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. So, um, but yeah, so he is, um, he's the one that's discovering all the fact that, wow, we can use these relics and these relics are actually giving people, you know, powers. How can I use this for myself? And of course he hunted until he found one that worked for him because, you know, what kind of, 
kind of super villain are you if you can't do no powers right and everyone right. else around you can so yeah. yeah he is um he's the mastermind of it um but he uses riot howl and afterlife um to they're kind of his minions they go out and do his bidding and yeah the main goal that they're trying to do is kill off all the all the heroes that are left that could stop uh, them from doing what their evil I'm, I'm not gonna say what their evil plan is but their <laughs> evil plan right. so but um the one that Mackenzie has is called the zero stone okay. mm. and it is actually it's incredibly special it it actually has a few things that other stone you know other relics will not have so she's gonna she really lucked up with the one that she stumbles upon and gets the power because in the beginning, she's literally just a college student, you know, going to school, living her life, mm. doing, you know, just trying to get her degree and, you know, just has a boyfriend has. So, yeah, she she's not out hunting for it. It kind of finds her. And then so, yeah, no, I think you guys are really, really, really going to like it. I does really she, do. And does she have a boyfriend that just sits around and plays video games all day? No, no, <laughs> no. That would be realistic. <laughs> that Mortal B says realistic. it's ever secretly Mark Brooks. <laughs> Don't give him that much credit. <laughs> Don't give him that much credit. Mark Brooks can never be as cool as ever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, give him, Don't give him that much credit. <laughs> but um, Yeah, but the Zero Stone um, is one that they found it. Um, zero longitude, zero latitude in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And that will actually look make... at Mandy. Look, oh, Matt, that's so sweet. That actually will, uh, as you read the story, you'll see why that is important. I will explain why, uh, why hers is so special. Of course, this is the first book, and you know, with the first comics, it's really hard to do everything you want to. Um, right. but I've already started working on the next one too. So, yeah, the first one is great. It is a very good entrance to the world I've created and to all the characters in it. And, yeah, by the next one, I, shit is going to be just absolutely hitting the fan by that point. So, I have never heard a more detailed description of your book from you. Before. I'm usually drunk. I'm usually, <laughs> I'm usually <laughs> drunk. And I can't. That was pretty good with no spoilers. Every, and every, everybody looks at me like, damn, this girl is a dick. Yeah, I mean, it really, she can't uh... even pitch her book. But I'm usually fucking drunk. And I'm trying not to give nothing away. <laughs> yeah, so, too. but yeah, that's that's the basic uh, story of Jim Shock. I really do think you guys are going to absolutely love it. Um, it really does delve into the '90s feel that you know most of us absolutely love. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think you guys are going to really dig it. Most of us love and miss, and that's the thing. You mm -hmm. know? Yes, exactly. That's the first time I saw Jim Shock, I mean, it was the first thing I felt, which is like a this gives me a '90s feel. Mm -hmm. Which, by mm -hmm. the way, if you want me to buy a comic book. Just give me a '90s feel because I mean that's that's what my love is, you know, right. artistically, character wise, everything. You know, like so. This yeah. is one of the books when when it first came out, <clears throat> I was just like, "Fuck yeah, yeah!" I think I backed this at least twice. I might have backed it three times. I can't. Oh, remember. thank you. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. Thank you. I can't wait to read this. Yeah, I'm you excited. are. Uh, you guys are bringing attitude back to comics. Yeah, hey, well, that's, well, I mean, we are in a way. You guys, uh, you guys can you guys can keep that one. <laughs> yeah, you know, when image, when image became a thing, I just figured out a new model. There were, you know, there were reasons like behind it. it. Well, Comic Skate is not just happenstance. This is right. This is because of the shit that's going on with mainstream that allows us to do this. So it's it's really really amazing to think that we are almost like the modern image, and that we yeah. don't we don't give a fuck. Fine, we'll do it ourselves. Yep. You know, to yeah, the mainstream, I mean, which is you can great. do whatever you want. I can do a whole pit book with just him ripping other monsters apart. Exactly. Like, is that you what? can do whatever the fuck you want to do, what right? I mean entrails. I mean, you can't put it up on any go go any way you want. You're gonna have to cover it. <laughs> but for the most part, yeah, you can it's your book. You can do whatever you want to do. And because we are not given an old IP and told here, write this, where you really have to be careful with keeping the you know. The character the way that they were yet keep them exciting at the same time we don't have to do that we don't have to worry about destroying what somebody loved about another character because all of right. these are original they're ours there is nothing you know what i mean so yeah just, uh, which is something that the big two absolutely refuse to do which is give new characters they they just absolutely refuse to write anything new that i've seen it's because yeah, well, they, don't wanna, point along the line, they don't want to invest just, into it that's why yeah. they don't want to invest yeah. into the promotion they just want to go off of the backs of what 
you know, foundation was already there. Yeah, and yeah. By doing that, they don't, what they end up doing is changing the characters that everyone fell in love with for who mm -hmm. they are and what they stand for. And it's not just changing with the time. You know, there's one thing to change things with the time frame. That's not what's going on. They're changing characters completely from what we all know and love. So by doing that, they've lost a ton of their audience. Mm -hmm. I can yeah, tell they you. Alien <laughs> they've alienated it. Yeah. Yes. For Absolutely. fans or for people that aren't necessarily buying the comic books. Yeah, I, mean, I, I see it. <laughs> I wouldn't buy a Marvel book now. No. Uh, no. So no. There's nothing exciting. I got no, like and, um, thing, right? Paul Azevedo is saying in the chat, I baked in the past, but I just can't do it at this time. Paul, we just appreciate you being here. We appreciate the support. Anytime you retweet us, any of that, yep. believe me, even if you can't you back guy? love bug, just the fact that you are here right now means the world exactly. to every single one of us. So yeah, don't, don't even sweat it. Just having you in the chat and hanging out and being so amazing enough. That is mm -hmm. No, don't never, never, you know, yes, yeah, don't right. we that's not what we want. We just want support. You know what I mean? So I, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate that you have backed in the past. And, you know, I appreciate that you are still here supporting us now. So absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, because if you think about it, how word gets around with these campaigns is mm -hmm. when people retweet, when they share, when people, exactly. you know, so. Yep. That would be like the best way to support anything. Yes, if you financially can do it. Yes, that's awesome, you know. Mm -hmm. But just like spreading the word, mm -hmm. that means more than anything. Word exactly. of mouth is what gets this stuff going around for everyone. And then, you know, Mandy, you have your own web page that you mm -hmm. run. I so do. I do. I know at some point right. you're a very smart businesswoman. You're either going to put it on the next campaign or you're going to put it up on your web page. So people mm -hmm. will have a chance to get it at a different point. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so, yeah, I always keep it to where I think most creators in CG always keep, uh, you know, a, a way that you can go in, you know, with Ethan. He does his eBay store. Um, some other people have their own website that they work through. We always and almost always people will add their first issue to their next campaign in case you missed out. So, yeah, 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 if I mean, so, yeah, just don't sweat it. Just thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for being here and supporting us. And anytime you retweet or just anything like that, it, it just it absolutely means the world and really does help more than you guys would ever know. You have oh, no absolutely. idea how much you sharing our projects with your audience that doesn't match mine. It probably doesn't match Kayla's or Joe's or Dale's. Uh, you know, you have friends that we don't have. And yeah, just the simple fact that you put it out there to your group of people means everything. Absolutely everything. Thousand percent. Hey, in the end, I mean, the we're, in the end, we're all here like together because we all love comics. This is mm -hmm. our passion. This is what we love. This is what we grew up with, you true. know, and we want to continue <laughs> having great comics <laughs> to even read. If, even if we have to make is. them ourselves. Exactly. Oh, yeah. What's better to do? I mean, isn't it great to be your own boss? I mean, come on now. God, yes. A thousand you get to win. Percent it is. <laughs> God, <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> I mean, that's what we're all working towards, you know? Mm -hmm. As, exactly. We got Keely Chow. Keely Chow. Hey, says, Keely. Hey, how everybody? you been, love bug? Hail to you. Uh... Is that person, is they, is that, are they Asian, you think? He doesn't, are you serious? <coughs> Why does Eric not Our, have a wrench over here? Eric's oh, wrenched it. everywhere. He's the wrench king. Well, you got a wrench now. Yay. I keep <laughs> see how quick that is. Wow. See how quick that is. I got you it know, taken care of. Joe, you, you got a high got finger. You. you know how Mandy yeah. just went into all of her, um, like some of the powers of gem shock and everything. I think for uh -huh. some of the newer people that are here at the channel tonight, like you should totally go over the powers of the Reaper Destroyer. Just hmm. saying. Do you want to, or he should? <laughs> well, the, the Reaper, what's interesting like, about Reaper Destroyer is is his power set is two different stages. So there's the stage where. Um, there's the suit. There's the power that is the suit, which is uh, near invulnerability to an extent. There are a uh, few things that can hurt him, but you know, right. I won't go too much into that. You'll see in issue one what I'm talking about. Uh, and then there is the the power set that he actually gets when the spirit uh, inside the suit, Apophis, right, uh, takes over. So you have two different power sets. You've got the normal 
one that Matt can access. And then the spirit, when he's in control, what he can access, which is near cosmic level powers. Really? Um, there's an interesting dynamic I play between those two characters. Uh, they're both trapped in the suit in prison, so to speak. Uh, not friends by by any means. I kind of wrote this thing to be like a buddy cop in, in a, well, certain, okay. a certain uh-huh. sense. You know, it, and I keep th- I always throw out to people lethal weapon, mm-hmm. even though it's not like and lethal weapon is cool because you have the the Bigger. the uh, the relationship between uh, Riggs and Murtaugh where they start out kind of like hating each other. They're forced to work with each other and then they grow into like this kind of relationship. Um, that's kind of like what's going on with these characters, but not so much to like the, you know, the buddy buddy kind of feel uh, because they're very much rivals. You know, like the Apophis whole reason for being in the suit is to possess Matt's soul. Obviously, Matt doesn't want to be possessed and, and disappear. So there's this constant fight between the two of them. Well, oh, that makes you. it very hard when they're constantly fighting between the two of them to actually fight their actual em- enemies at the same time. Right. So, at the same time, you can relay information to the reader as a yeah. conversation, like exposition. Yeah, you never really quite know exactly what... Oh, shit. Never mind. Sorry. No, no, no. no. I was just about to say... Yeah, I was just about can to say... I, I was about can, to I read from, can I read from the ash can? Can I read from the ash can? Can I read from the ash can, the powers of the Reaper Destroyer, since it's in the ash can? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, you. go for it. It's yeah. in public. So the Reaper Destroyer. Well, I'm glad the Caleb has... stopped me because I was just about to. I was just about I to. I kind of gave into... you the face. I was just I was about like... to jump into. Go, 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 go. No. Spoiler to the book. <laughs> Wave them so, off. The powers of the Reaper Destroyer. Reaper Destroyer has enhanced agility, speed, strength, and jumping ability. He is invulnerable to most things. He has heightened senses and is an expert in hand-to-hand combat. He has the ability to create energy shields and blasts from his hands, as well as manufacture weapons, including guns and swords his weakness you know because for every strength you do have to have a weakness as a character i feel to balance it out they include stamina he can get worn down from prolonged battles that require him to use the full extent of the armor which has an energy level that can be depleted in addition he is vulnerable to the spirit of rd which you'll have to find out (laughs) more about it but it's (laughs) you know it's this is just such a crazy book and there, there's, there's so one much of the, one of the weapons he can kind of form with his hands yeah he can make crude yes. crude weapons with the armor he's got kind of this living armor almost right. like spawn in a way you know like is the best way i can kind of relate it to other characters um yeah, i can see that for sure yeah his armor is it's a biomechanical it, it's alive it's supernatural uh to the sort you know his his cape has certain abilities his armor is kind of kind of constantly morphing uh as he grows into it um yeah he can make uh these badass guns it's the thing about reaper destroyer is matt really doesn't want any of this you know he's very reluctant to use any of the powers because he's really sh- you know, put into a situation that he doesn't want to be in. he didn't choose it you know it's basically mm-hmm. something that he was forced to be in and now he's now he's living in this world he's living in this world that's uh right smack in the, in the middle of his civil war between immortal races for for this power this ancient power that he possesses in a world I mean, in a yeah. world yeah pretty much i mean you got the elder sons in this which the elder sons are super cool when you guys you know i mean i can read from the ash can so there's no spoilers just saying you that's know? true that's so true I, I, you, you should read Plus from the you, ash. Uh, just read from the ash can. So, you can go, who knows what direction you can go in? It's There's his, his powers advance and morph and turn into different things. Discover yeah, new, a new thing, new abilities. That's kind Ooh. of what I wanted. To, that's kind of what I want to do with with the with the suit and with the power set with when the spirits in control. I wanted to give you a base of where we find him at because when we introduce Matt into the story, when you guys start reading the story, he's only been in this situation for about. Uh, right around nine months. So he he's just kind of discovering the abilities that he has. And as we progress throughout the story, you're going to see him unlock, unlock different uh, power abilities yeah. and power levels and all that kind of stuff. So I've left it pretty wide open to be able to use some really cool visuals. So he's going to um, he's going to what they call level up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, like, I always like that kind of storytelling. Like, you know, it's the character is evolving. You know, like he's we don't meet him at his at his finest, like when he's right, you know, a master of everything he can do. He doesn't know half the things he can use his own armor for, let alone half the things that could be used um, from the actual spirits power level. You know, like this guy is incredibly, incredibly powerful, which is why all of these uh, these immortal races that are still around want to contain his power and use it for their own means. Because, I mean, honestly, this is 
this is a character that's got near cosmic level power when it's uh when it's actually used properly you know so there's a lot of room to kind of grow and show it and visually like i've got some awesome visuals Mm -hmm. awesome visuals that we're going to dive into as the series goes with different things that he'll be able to do again like i want to keep the audience guessing on this stuff you know like there's yeah there's always going to be something new uh when he actually figures out how to do Mm -hmm. it and it's going to kind of change the dynamic of the story once he reaches a certain level and once he reaches a certain area that we can go from that point on you know that's great uh knives stabbing weapons yes (laughs) (laughs) lots of that those pinups look like Mark Silvestri perfection. Hell yeah, I'll take that. That is an amazing compliment. <laughs> Absolutely. Everyone knows that, yeah, Mark Mark is, that's that's one of my idols right there. Uh, Matt is still wet behind the ears, still green. His socks have not <laughs> crushed yet. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. takes a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the whole purpose, you know? Like, the whole purpose is not knowing how powerful he actually is. And the entire time, he's, uh, he's also resisting. He's resisting, you know, what he could be right. because of the situation he's in. You yeah. know, this is a uh, this is a very reluctant, reluctant person in this story. You know, not in, this isn't a crime fighting story. This isn't a superhero story. It's a it's a sci fi action thriller. Is the best way I could put it. You yeah, know? right. It's a man that's basically just surviving in 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 the in the position that he's been put into. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he would like nothing more than to rid himself of all of this and go back to living as a regular person. Unfortunately, yeah. that's not in the cards right now, and his life has forever been changed with this uh, this tragic incident that put him into this armor. So, yeah, the uh, reluctant hero, which is one of the big mysteries in the book. So this mis- mm-hmm. this this book has it's built around a mystery with twists and turns is the best way I can say it. So when you read it, um, <laughs> you might know what's going on, and that's going to that's going to change at some point. Nice. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you never know what's going to happen. Like that's mm-hmm. what I love about stories and things. You know, you take um, you take the popular shows out there, like you know Game of Thrones and stuff like that. You know, what was co- so cool about Game of Thrones in the first early parts of the seasons, the not original the last series. One. Yeah, yeah, not the last one. <laughs> not the last one. That one. Please don't get me on would, that. <laughs> <laughs> things would happen to the characters that you didn't expect. Yeah, you know, Unless and that's you read what the I want. That's. That, well, yeah. yeah, unless you read the books. But if you didn't read the books, like me just going in and watching the series, there were things that happened that just blew me away. I was like, oh, shit, like I didn't see that coming. Mm-hmm. And that's what I want in this book. Like, yeah, I want you to not see the story that that, that is actually going to be unlaid. So, mm-hmm. um, right. It's it's very much, you know, a traditional comic book story, but in the same aspects, like I want to shock you at the same time. Is there yeah, a re- is there a red that. wedding in this book? I mean. <laughs> Yeah. There's wouldn't it be weird well, if you just killed the character off about halfway through the book? No, that would be interesting, right? I'm not gonna say anything about that. We'll see. We'll um, see. Khan's comic pit stop asked, uh, he said, You don't have to answer if it's a spoiler, so he's permanently trapped in the suit, or mm. can he ever escape to be mortal again? You'll have to read it and find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I will say, like, that that's <clears throat> yeah, right. I, I can answer that actually without being a spoiler. So, as of right now, oh, he's Joe, 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 no, oh. as of right now, he's, he's, he's permanently me. trapped that's in the me. suit. Yeah, Th- that's not a spoiler. That, that's just his situation. He's permanently trapped in, his, in the suit. In oh. fact, he hasn't even seen his face for nine months. He hasn't seen his face or anything since he's been in the suit. Like that's that's yeah, how, how encumbers him. He, he doesn't have to eat. No, like the the suit provides oh, like everything that. Yeah, um, yeah, it provides everything that you need to survive. No, 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 no. This is going to be fucking awesome is what this is going to be. I'm so freaking excited. Yes. And look at this art. Holy shit. Literally, <laughs> that is literally. insane. Thank that is, it always, I just can't believe that you guys can do stuff like this and make it look like that. It just absolutely fascinates me because my brain does not work like that. It it just doesn't. So when I see what you guys are able to do with just a piece of paper and a pen, it just blows my mind yeah that's, that's dr- got that's got some good weight to it mm-hmm. thank you, know? you. yeah that's it's good weight to it. beautiful drawing to me is is probably one of the funnest things i i can do besides you know music <clears throat> music and art are the two two biggest things to me that mm-hmm. provide me the most excitement in life hail um hail Neat hail, hail. <laughs> drawing is drawing is the cool thing about drawing is starting with nothing yeah and then just mm-hmm. creating uh, it, you know, something out of it, you know, yeah. like to when you step back and you finally finish a page or a cover or whatever it is that you finish, 
and you can actually see you know that what you've done it's just it still amazes me like wow you know, like i did that you know like it's it was the same thing with music creating music from nothing and creating a song with your bandmates you know and like at the end you have this fully formed just yeah. thing you know like it's i love creating that's what i love about the, both art forms but drawing yeah. is uh <clears throat> there's something uh very therapeutic about drawing you know you can turn your brain off when you draw and you can just focus on 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 that at the time you know like and i don't know dale if it's the same with you or not just turn on some music and just draw yeah, for hours and like, get into what they call the flow state yeah mm-hmm. yeah i love that part yeah like and that is nothing around, like it. Uh, for me it's like three four in the morning it's the best you time. may not draw go to bed and i quit aggravating y'all not because <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the time frame you're giving right now <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't compute. Mandy aggravate me. I don't I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, I, Phil what wants to know, you talk about. Phil has a very important question for you. He wants to know how does he pee? <laughs> the suit takes care of it. <laughs> That's handy. Okay. Yeah, suit takes care of everything. That is handy. Takes care of yeah, anything you can think of. Uh, well, if he if he doesn't eat, he's not going to, you know. Yeah. Mm. The suit provides sustenance. True. It takes care of uh you know that you know like i didn't go into great detail when i was like establishing the powers of the soup i'll just tell you that it anything you can think of (laughs) to survive in this thing the way that it does including airflow and all that kind of stuff the soup provides the soup provides it yeah yep yep i so wait a minute you didn't use like three or four panels to show your character go into the bathroom and and you you decided not to go that route huh (laughs) yeah i didn't think that that was quite necessary (laughs) oh that's very strange (laughs) as as you know marvel seems to really like that route so yeah yeah can you get a suit job maybe maybe i will say this some people pointed this out that um this looks like a giant erection and I will say that that could be oh on purpose. Oh my god! It, <laughs> I would have never the... saw it if you hadn't pointed it out. I didn't. I didn't see the but now it's in you the negative it out. space. Yeah, negative I think space. Phoenix was the first one. Phoenix was the first one to point it, it out to, to Phoenix, me. Leave it to Phoenix. So I know. Seriously, <laughs> leave it to Phoenix. Only Phoenix. I saw it. And I was okay. like, oh, you're right. It does. Yeah, but I, I like never that. saw that. I like that. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> Oh my God! Please don't compare. <laughs> okay, say say another amazing example right there. You know, little nope. mom action. I bought yeah, that yeah. piece no, of no shit just for no, just for giggles. It's horrible. That's that's what I did with that Hellfire Gala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bought it. Uh, how does he get laid in that suit? Well, right now he doesn't. Mm. He should have just said the suit handles that. Well, the suit, yeah, the suit, no, handle the suit yeah, handles we'll that. <laughs> no, no. What? Listen, what happens is, uh, by the time he meets he meets Mackenzie, he's really worked up. So mm. like, well, he really get like it really he really falls in lust with uh, Mackenzie. We there will we have go. to we will have to talk about that Stalking at some point her. for sure. Know, right? for sure. <laughs> Come on, the so whole he concept. Knocks, he knocks her rocks off. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> a suit job, yeah, yeah. The whole concept of the suit is that it's it's a prison. <gasps> oh my goodness, no. Sorry. Oh, no. no. Through the cat. The cat. Yes, the cat is knocking down everything over here. What did you do? Yeah, the suit the suit is absolutely a prison. It's not oh. it's not a a pleasant place to be. Yeah, like I said, it, it's something it's a it's he's been put into the suit by someone for their own means and we'll figure out why that is <coughs> as we go. But it's absolutely not something that you would ever strive to be like right. you know, like it's this isn't batman <laughs> you know you're like gotcha. you don't want to be like let's be batman let's dress up let's go crime fighting this is this is something that actually is, absolutely has destroyed this dude's life no he's not having a good time no no not at all that's why he's so angry he's, he's got a lot of anger issues in this book no, i can i can see why that makes sense <laughs> yeah plus so, i like i like angry people yeah well it, it makes for good you know? no i mean it's a, it's a, where when you have angry people in comics, you have an action scene coming up soon, which I that's love. Right. So that's right. So you know, when I see him get mad, it's like, yeah, get mad, and then I flip the panel, the page, and it's like, hell yeah! Now the fight starts. Yep, so, right in that left turn, like the left mm-hmm. hand page reveal. That's like the best. Yeah, the double page. Yeah, that's how you like, have to no. do it, just like that. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, I also like looking at the art that um, people create within the comics and trying to think like, okay, so 
what is something deeper I can find within this artwork <laughs> here? Like, what is like what is being conveyed here on a deeper Hail level? Sumo. Penises. <laughs> I would never, I would never not say it now. I'm with you, Sumo. I, 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 I would not say that. I now. have, I, I have to point it out since it was pointed out to me. Mm -hmm. I have to now point it out to everybody. Oh, no. You know what? I wow. usually see everything, and that was not anything that yeah. ever crossed my mind until you pointed it I, out. And then I see yeah, like I take the, it as a thing of pride. Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. so. Big, it's thick. Did you just say well. Goomba? <laughs> Goomba. <laughs> Goomba shape. Uh, oh my gosh. I never uh, have heard that saying, but I'm going to use we, it. We cannot, talk, we cannot talk about X Men ever as of now because I don't want to cry on stream. Mm. I don't well, want to cry. Right, it's, yeah. We don't want to talk about that. It's an abomination to everything Chris Claremont worked on. Mm. I will have a drink to that because I will just get upset. <laughs> look, look, <laughs> they don't drive Kayla to drinking now. I know. Like, I'll do one more shot because I think we're gonna get out of here pretty soon. We've been going for about two and a half hours. I'll let people go here in a little bit. I gotta get up a little earlier tomorrow. So mm -hmm. all right. Mm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be fulfilling books on. Uh, so. yeah. mm -hmm. oh, oh no. Shoot. Absolutely what, what not. Happened? Absolutely X not. Oh my X God. fucking persons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Is that I brought that up in the ingredient yet. They're not in my book. <laughs> not in my book. You know it's headed that way at some point. I, you know what? Please. Uh. They're going to change it to mutants and people are going to complain then because if you want to call people literal mutants, you know, there's a lot that can go on with that. Like people that have mutated genes that exist. I mean, they're not going to fucking win. Stop trying to please people. Well, I mean, even, <laughs> like, if that's we, it. even if we quit saying the word mutants, people still are going to have the mutated genes. So what they're, the always, is, <laughs> they're always, they're always still, be... it's still there. It didn't, it didn't solve anything. They're always going to be the X Men. It's just like when you say, like when someone at the comic shop comes in and they want Wolverine, and you try to tell them X twenty three is Wolverine. These people are like, that's not Wolverine. Yeah, the is. fuck is this? Like. <laughs> It's like you can't change something that is what it has been for so long. Exactly. And that's where they keep keep trying uh, to do keep trying to do and failing miserably. And nobody there say either they're too either they've got their heads so far up their ass that they don't realize or they genuinely just don't give a shit, which in either way, fuck you them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Thanks. X them, yes. X them, yeah. <laughs> X so ridiculous. X they. X they. X they. Uh, yeah. X there. Oh, God. Yeah, at least we have the old stuff. That's, that's. Mm -hmm. that's exactly. Mm -hmm. I exactly. say enjoy all the back issues of Marvel and DC. There's some great stuff to. Um, yeah. Absolutely stuff amazing there. stuff done. And then check out everything that we're doing for new shit. That's what I say. Absolutely. Just Absolutely. Bridge that gap with us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because this is comic books created by people that understand comics and are fans of them. So it's mm -hmm. fan service, you know, they're delivering to the fans of this stuff. I mean, I have found more books that I've liked in CG than I have in a shop. And in the shop, I'm very, I'm not buying from the big two. I can tell you, although mm -hmm. I will be picking up the Mark Silvestri, uh, that Joker. Oh, yeah. Because it's Silvestri. Yeah, you yeah, know, Silvestri, and, yeah. And I, I won't lie. I love our Adams. <laughs> I won't even read the book. I will buy anything with an R. Adams cover. I don't give a shit. Mm. I love R. Adams. <laughs> like, <laughs> what about the uh, what about the Spawn Batman thing coming up? Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna check so that out. That, that sounds like it's worth checking out. I know Gunslinger Spawn does very mm. good in the shop out of all the Spawn books that are out. Gunslinger Spawn, um, because mm -hmm. Brett Booth is doing it and it just oh. has a really cool look. I mean, I more like when I go back there in October, I will spend my time um, pushing the smaller press and the indie stuff because that's when. You know, that's what I'm enjoying. Behemoth has some great titles. Mm -hmm. um, a couple Aftershocks shock titles are great. And I'm always surprised to find out the writer when I compare something they're doing at the big two compared to like Aftershock. Graham Nolan has a book at Aftershock. That's great. Okay. You know, there's, there's some pretty cool stuff going on outside of the big two. And I push those. And then if there's oh. anyone from CG that has books that wants to make sales in shops, wants to get themselves out there, or has promotional material, I definitely take it and I will put it into the two shops that I'm affiliated with because, you know, right? Nice. It, it, it is what it is, you know? Mm -hmm. It's Hell just yeah. going to help everyone's base grow even more. 
So, and yes, I did cry when I met our Adams. I mean, I've really? never, never cried. I've never cried meeting anybody. And it was so awkward because it was like a kid's day and I was dressed as Bulma. And <laughs> like, it was like, I don't even dress. I, I rarely up. dress up at cons. I, yeah, I, have, up. I have the picture <laughs> on my, I have the picture. I'll find it. Hold on. Let okay, me find yeah, it. That's You're going to. Oh my god, Rick he looks Saylor so said, awkward too. He's like, is he's like, are you crying? I'm like, now, yes. <laughs> now, when did you? How many people did you have to? How long was the lineup? I didn't have and to wait you, in the line. I worked, oh, I thought, I work cons. I've never attended. Caleb's like, I don't wait. In I just lines. pictured you getting more weepy as you got closer. As you got closer to oh talk. Yeah. I've never ever. All right, here it is. Let me see if I can screen share. Yeah, this. screen share that while you're His doing face? that. Oh Rick said God. that he's going to see Chris Claremont when was this? in Canton, Ohio on October 1st. That's awesome, man. Chris Claremont, I wanted to go over to so bad, but I had my first like interview when I was doing press internship lied, lined up with um, Rob Liefeld. And I, I had to go to Rob Liefeld. He was the first person that I ever interviewed for a magazine really? that I was doing press with. Okay. Yes, I, he was okay. amazing. What and does he smell like? Yeah, he, he smells what's great. He smell like? He I smells he great. Does. He smells like cologne, Old and he's full of energy. And... In my mind, he smells really, really good. Uh, like, like in the ah, oh, he, he oh, was yeah. just amazing. Was awesome. All right, I let me see if I can share this. <laughs> Did you share it yet? I'm going to. I'm trying okay. to figure out where it is. Window. Okay, here it is. You Jacob guys, said oh, just back. Jump, Jack. Whoa! Thank Hell you, yeah. Lava. Thank you so much. Sorry. I appreciate it. I got to go to the bathroom. Hang on. Right. There, there is me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wow! There is me crying. Our Adams was like, "Are you crying?" Like, <laughs> was, he, was he going? Was he going? He's, are you, are you crying? Yes, he he was so nice. <laughs> like, he's like, he's nice. like, I've never had anyone like cry to me. He signed like all of my books, and I'm like, can we Dude. take a picture? And I was hey, you working. made an impression. That's what matters. Yeah, that would, that would. He'll always cool. remember that. Dude, as, yeah. a creator, as a creator, that would feel really good. I've that never so cried crazy. meeting anyone. I've met so I've met so many people within movies, comics, <laughs> just doing press stuff. I mean, I could. Right. There's there's a role. Uh, there's literally. I don't even know what's on the this tab here. I'm sure. Like, this is when I met well, what did Michael Cudlitz like? years ago. Mm. You know yeah. what? I don't even know, to be honest. <laughs> I, I can't even after remember. after he got his brains beat in by Negan. So, there's <laughs> like, it, um, that was mm, before, cocaine. you know, like there's ton cocaine. of, ton of con stuff, like all the different cons I've worked at. I worked at a shit ton of cons. I probably nice. worked almost a thousand over a thousand, maybe a th over a thousand in my life because I've been working them since I was like 21. How cool is <laughs> so that? I, you know, I've never attended one. <laughs> I've done everything from assisting cosplayers to helping artists out to being an assistant for people that were celebrity assistants and then press stuff and then as a vendor. So, mm. and let me tell you, the hardest one of all <laughs> is working as a vendor. Mm. The, the comic shops, and they have to spend more money than anyone to even be there too. Mm. So... It, like there's a lot <laughs> but then they, they, the vendors the... make a lot of money at conventions right do they it depends i mean yeah, yeah, depend the, on... the problem is now with conventions is that they are taking over by the movie and the cosplay industry yeah, there you go. so mm -hmm. what it is is they're not catering smaller shows actually do a lot better if you are a oh. shop owner or if you are someone that wants to sell books the bigger shows yes there's a lot of foot traffic you know but people aren't buying as much they're very cosplayers are only and i hate to say this and i don't mean this about every cosplayer you know um because there are some great ones out there but they don't mm -hmm. care about the books they, no, do, they don't they do not they care about if they can get a print of a character that they're cosplaying or what celebrity that they can meet to get photos with in mm -hmm. order to generate more traction for their cosplay. It's about the attention that they get. I've interviewed, yeah. I used to get cosplayers for the magazine I was working with. I used to find the hottest cosplayers. Like if yes. you were a hot girl and you had a great cosplay, hi, I want you in the magazine. So right. can you submit? Can you fill this out? I'm going to take a picture of you. I'm going to send it to my boss. We'll see how it works. Send in your portfolio and um, we'll see if we can get you in. But 
imagine going up to people and them not knowing who they're cosplaying. Like, why did you choose this cosplay? You know, well, that's that's always what gets me is why would you choose somebody that you don't love? Like for me, they're just trying to get nerd boys to lust over them. That's just well, okay it's also me. too in the OnlyFans generation, in a money making generation. It's it's not only that too; it's and a way the for them to make too, money. Rachel. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's well, the profession. <laughs> well, I can I can't even speak on half of the things I've seen go down oh, at yeah. cons. I, I, I can't. can't. So, I can uh, you'll have to tell me later, like some of the some of the raunchiest stories, some of the hmm. raunchiest con stories. Not on live yes. stories, but in a background. No, yeah, like, oh. You'll have to tell me some raunchiness oh. that happens. Hit up my yes, hit up my DMs anytime, Manny. Yay. <laughs> I don't know many girls um, in CG, to be honest. So There's it's awesome not, I mean, to like, you know... <laughs> it's just I awesome. I know, I know. I love you know? when there's other girls around. It is so... Yeah, just, I mean, having I another girl on here with me is so amazing. But I'm yeah, there. I mean... So. Comics have never <laughs> been a girl full industry, you know? Away. I mean, even back when I was like going to comic book <laughs> shops to play like D&D &D and to, you know, play Magic the Gathering and stuff like yep. that. I was usually, there may be one other girl, maybe, you know, and that was just if she, if a boyfriend ha happened to drag a girlfriend with them. So, yeah. yeah, it's always great when you meet other girls that are into the same thing you are, because I've always been the weird girl that, like, hmm. you know, that read comics and played Magic the Gathering and D&D, &D, and a so lot wild. of my friends looked at me like, let me, let me ask you, because, because I, I have to clear something up, because <laughs> there was, okay, I had a go. post and mm -hmm. somebody said that comic book shops are sexist and I fucking lost mm. my mind. Oh, that's such bullshit. I have lost my, I lost my mind on it because I've never right. ever experienced it ever. And no, someone made a me... comment like I was sold Wonder Woman and I don't like Wonder Woman and these older guys. And I told them I liked this and I liked that. And they recommended this and that. I'm like, did you ever think it was because of their age and what was popular? You know, what when is they were popular yeah. that they're recommending you that and that it's not <clears throat> anything against you intentionally because I lose my mind. I've never experienced any, any of never. that stuff. No, <laughs> what happens when I go into a comic book store? is everybody in there drops whatever the fuck they're doing and they either come help me find a book or they come talk to me about <laughs> magic or they come talk to me about yeah. D, D or they talk try to get me to come to do work hell that it wasn't too long ago i got invited to go like a lark they were like you'd be queen oh, you yeah. the larping, day, and I'm like, larping actually I seems like fun, it, I it seems like fun. Larping. they get to beat the yeah. shit out of each other exactly. in the woods with, with i do it well, that's exactly. great, uh, so, yeah, no, girls, nice. I don't know why they get that because the reality is, as a girl walks in a comic book store, everybody kisses her ass. Plain and I mean, simple. That is that is literally I mean, how it goes. Yeah, I've got some of food. the best sales ever. Right. I've, I've gotten some of the best sales ever because people didn't think I knew shit about anything. And there I am. I got my CLZ listings. I got all my shit. I mean, I got 27 mm -hmm. long boxes in this house. <laughs> so it, mm -hmm. that's just my stuff. And my father's a, I'm a second gen collector. I got all of his shit too. Nice. So it's Long like boxes, he, a lot of comic books. Wow. Yeah, they do. I got, I got a lot. I've been reading. I've been reading since I could read them. So it's. Yeah, I've, but I've never yeah. went into a comic book store and ever felt any way other than they were happy to have me in their store. That's. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I mean, I would, I would love if an owner thought I was dumb. Like I said, I can get over on them. All <laughs> right. Like, oh, yeah, this, I love digging through the back issues when people don't change their issues all the time. Like mm. the owner of Harrison's, he's on top of that. He's like, go find this issue. It went up 25 bucks now. Make it 25. Move it. You know, like the owner. Yeah. Of the they, some, of them don't, some of them have no idea what they have. They have I'm no like, clue. Jackpot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think thing, if I see something that like I know is going to like sell really big on eBay, I'll be mm. like, oh, and they got it. They don't. They don't have it priced right. So yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy that for $4 and then go sell it for, you know, 90 on eBay. No problem. Oh, you can do it. I was yeah. just like, no one would ever push away any women because every comic book shop owner, unless it's like a chain supply, like they're a small local business for the mm -hmm. most part. And they need every sale that they can get to get in, you know, make their money and stay in business. So why would someone be discriminating against you because you're a woman? No, bitch. They want your motherfucking money. Yeah, they, <laughs> like, they, nobody. Yeah, I know that that uh, the what is her name? The girl that played uh, Daenerys that did the mom comic. Yeah, oh, that was yeah. her big thing is she said that when she would go into comic book stores, 
they were horrible to me. My brother was dragging me with him to comic book stores when I was three years old. And even at three, the guys thought it was so cool that it's a young girl that's into comics that they're like, yeah. hey, look, we got this in My Little Pony. I've got this, you know, uh, strawberry shortcake, right? I mean, the first comic I ever owned was a Rainbow Bright and the Star Stealers. Where my brother took me and I had to get something, you know, I was a kid, so you can't take me in a store was your and not first find one? me something. Rainbow yeah. Bright and the Star Stealers was my, my first comic. My first you, comic you still book have is Jim Valiant, nice Catwoman. Yeah. And I'm, I actually still have it. Uh, uh-huh. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yep. Mine's Jim Valiant's Catwoman number two. That was oh, my yeah. first comic book ever. Hold that, that, that up. That is, and you got a great too. It's a 9.6. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So this is my my first comic I ever had. My brother bought it for me. And believe me, my brother didn't buy me a lot of stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like he wasn't, he didn't didn't buy me a lot. So this one means like a ton to me because, yeah, it's my first one and my brother bought it. But yeah, I mean, so even when you go in as a young girl, Mm -hmm. they they want girls involved in comics. They want girls reading the stuff and they want our money. You know what I mean? So the simple fact that they try to pull this no women are treated bad it's it's such i mean it's just such bullshit. absolute bullshit <laughs> that i can't even fathom who the hell is buying this like who's who's buying this story because every guy has been in a comic book store saw a girl walk in and the guys stopped playing their games the store owners coming hey may i help you you know what i mean it's just <laughs> yep. it never no it's right. such bullshit it is bullshit I get especially offended because, like I said, I've spent over 12 years of my life working in shops. Mm -hmm. So to me, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, and we've dealt with everything in my shop, everything from drama, from bleeding cool and oh, oh, fuck them. I, I hate them. I yeah. hate bleeding cool. Everyone that knows me knows I hate bleeding cool with a passion. So, right, well, so. Mm-hmm. Right, I've never so. they. Yeah, they lie you know lie and just oh yeah no they're they're so goddamn woke it ain't even funny they they can't even see oh it's it's yeah i I will tell you off stream Mm -hmm. (laughs) what the fuck they did and what it caused and what they tried to do not once but on several occasions with the shop that i work at i you know if oh i can't even say it on stream i'll probably go to jail but if Mm -hmm. i ever saw that owner of bleeding cool Face to face. He's a dick. He oh. is. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. He is a much. royal piece of shit. Yeah. You know? So well, yeah, he covered my drunk stream. So no, nah, he was a <laughs> you know, dick of, there too. of course, of course, you know. Of course. Who cares? You got drunk. That's life. Rick Dalton? You were real. You kept it real. And I'm sure yeah. you still kept it up there. So what? More you respect to you. You had a good night. <coughs> That's yeah, their big, oh, yeah. their real big thing was, I got some sleep. Their exactly. big thing was, was how is he drunk? Like, is you know, dur- it's like five in the afternoon. How is he drunk? Do Who you cares? have y'all ever has he ever talked to a fucking artist? Y'all live the weirdest <laughs> hours. Yes. Dale, Dale that, was was Dale right, that was bedtime for yep. Dale. Dale, you know, that was his wine down before bed. Obviously. Yeah, I was gonna take a shot and then leave it. But I and then go to one. bed. Yeah. And by the time like, you take the third shot, it's like, hey, <laughs> how many, yeah, I'm so coming I mean, up with some really bad ideas right now. I want to know how many hours do you stay up drawing, hours. Dale? Like, how hmm? many hours do you stay up drawing? Dude. Like, I can imagine you get caught in it. Yeah. Like, I, I, would, I can do 24 hours easy. Oh, I, mean, I bet you could. 24 no. hours. I have seen him go 14 without a real break, like, yeah, except to like stop the smoke and then he's right back working again so oh. yeah i mean and again they kept saying what is he doing with us and it's like fuck yeah. you you don't care about him anyways you're only using this to try to like yeah your self oh, attention and Pretty it's much. fucking it was his bedtime so what if a grown man wants to have drinks before bedtime who gives yeah. a shit? You know, it, I don't know. Well, why who who so cares fucking... if a guy flushes his dignity down the toilet? Who cares? <laughs> I don't think. I don't think you did that at all. I don't think so either. I've never watched it, so I have no idea. I don't, but you, you <laughs> did. You did. <laughs> you did. I watched, fine you did, with I watched, what you were given. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I would say this. Of all, I've been in CG. I was not like what they call OG CG. I wasn't here at like the conception of CG. But I have been here for like three and a half, almost four years now. Dale's first live stream with the most legendary first live Fuck stream yeah. I've ever seen. I've never seen anybody come in quite like Hurricane Dale did. You know, Hurricane Dale. Like, Dale, Dale, is still, came in. Dale is still very respected within the industry. Can I tell you, when I tell people at the shop that Pitt is coming back up, do you understand how people light up and people talk about <coughs> your Hulk run? My father owned your entire Hulk nope. run. I grew Does up he? looking at them. Yes, absolutely. My dad wow. likes the Hulk, X-Men, Fantastic Four, and then the old image stuff. That's what I grew up reading. You know, hey, real quick, when, before when I tell I my father, you know, Kale. like, Kale. Yeah. Go ahead. Real quick, before Sorry. I forget. <laughs> Tarks for $10 says, Hail Comics Gate, Dale Pitt, Kill, and Master CG Artist. The world is better place now. Comics Gate creators are the best. Thank you for making comics fun again. Aww. We Hell will. Yeah. We are, that we are awesome. doing that. We are doing mm -hmm. that. All right, sorry. I just no, want to get that like, before I forget. But when I get to tell like my coworkers, I was on a stream with Dale Keown, the shop owner. You know, like yeah. you created the definitive look for Hulk. That's what people say mm -hmm. that you created the definitive 100%. look for Hulk. And when I talk that Pit is coming back and you're going to be running a campaign, do you know how much money you're about to make off the Pit? It's, I don't even think you understand. Probably don't. I I don't think you even know. You no, know, I told him. I told him he's gonna <laughs> have waiting. to take me to Hawaii. You know what I mean? Like he's gonna have to. Hail. Yeah, did you come with me? Have to go to Hawaii for a come while. with me. I have a timeshare in Hawaii. You can come with Do me. Do you really? Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. I invested in a timeshare out there. I just was swimming with sharks without a no. cage. Nice. Like a crazy person. I, I was living sharks. like Fathom. That's what I was telling Joe. Yeah. I was like, I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm living Ruth. like I'm in Fathom right now. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you know, mm -hmm. like that clear water pit, when you start putting out the pit stuff and everything, let me tell you, people love your Hulk stuff, but it's the pit stuff. People, you know, they wanted more pit. Pit made a difference. So it, it did. You know, because Hulk <laughs> was cool. Everybody knew the Hulk growing up, you know, but pit came out and pit was just like, this new fresh care. It was like the Hulk. Yes. Um, better. Feel, but <laughs> badass. <laughs> you know, like it was just, you, you had the, the yeah, that's what I, did. I want to create a feels. character like the Hulk, but better. Yeah, and that's what that's exactly, yeah, that's I mean, exactly what it was. I mean, exactly I, 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 I there so merged many a lot of characters together, you know. Yeah, and he had a so distinct look. look. Remember you know, those he had a very distinct books? look. Yes, yeah. amalgam. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, I love yeah. the amalgam with Dark Claw, yes. all of that. Dark Claw was probably some of those. That was kind of like what Image was, you know. I mean, I when I saw Spawn, I when I saw Spawn, I thought of a bunch of other characters mixed mixed up together, you know. True, true. Yeah, that's they did a lot of what. You know, I feel like I'm doing or like what Mandy's doing. You just take your influence. They took a lot of their influences. And now that they had no, you know, uh, hold back from editors or whatever, they could just create whatever they wanted to create. Exactly. And that's why you saw the early image characters, you know, that first year or whatever. You saw um, shadows of characters or derivative characters, but mm -hmm. they were their, their new own stuff. You know, yeah. it was just so much cooler. Wild image was just cats. cooler in general when it when it dropped which is why i said I'm, I'm a child of image i grew up with image thinking that was just the shit you know you you can't talk bad to me about image because i'll just be like nothing it's all good. yeah both you sebastri know. and jim lee did like their own version of the x-men yeah it's like we had like like image had two x-men's yeah exactly and that to me i thought that's what was cool because it gave me something familiar but cooler yeah time, i remember too you know? Pitt appeared in yeah. Young Blood. It was Young Blood yeah, it was issue the, four, uh, if I can remember. It was Young Blood issue four. four. Issue four. Back yes. up story. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. That's right. That was his first appearance. Yeah. <clears throat> and he was like, uh, he like I can I can remember. Yeah, it was that, and just learning about the creed because he was this like was a yeah like a, a little <laughs> yeah a you little put the story in the beginning yeah I, you know, and then he like materializes inside a subway and I remember <laughs> I did like the, the, these silhouettes where he's fighting these. Yeah, Remember the silhouettes like the lights would go out. Yep. And then uh, later, I think that reminded me of Predator Two. Is that what yes, it was? Predator, that Predator 2? Two was after. Yeah. Was it that after? was after? Oh, so they stole it from you. Gotcha. Maybe it was around the same time. Okay, but that's maybe, what it reminded. Maybe I stole it. <laughs> the early just, pit. It reminded me a lot of the stuff that we were seeing of the day. It reminded me of like Terminator, Predator Two, like all these different things. But that was cool because you could tell that whenever, however you were drawing it, you were taking the cool stuff and pop culture and the things you really liked and putting it into visuals, and yeah. it came out. You know, like that early pit run. I love all of pit, but the early pit run one through six or so, one through eight, right? Um, mm. is my absolute favorite. Yeah, that was fun. 
remember just because it has attitude. The what entire book attitude. Darkness Pit. Right. My father has like the Darkness Pit. It was what is it? One through one through was it three issues or something? Was it Darkness Maybe, Pit? It was like a Darkness like Pit that. book. Three or six. Oh, it must have been three. Wait, and then the max, and the max seven and eight too. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I know my comics. <laughs> like, yes. That's one thing. Like, yeah, you know? because uh, Sam actually drew Pitt in one of his books. Yes, yeah, he did. yeah, Pitt or uh, Max six maybe. I'm trying yeah, to remember the issue. Right? Seven and eight. Yeah, I'm trying I really to remember. Yeah, think it was or maybe seven, it was seven and, eight. and eight, but it was I right mean, around that I'm time. Not, yeah. <laughs> I'm 95 percent sure it was seven and eight. Yeah, it's right? around there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll concede sure being wrong if that's. Yeah, it could be seven and eight. I yeah, just, Darkness Pit. What did that guy say? And I just, I loved to, like, um, I how remember you the first had, time we like, saw a pit. I was like, holy shit, that looks badass. Full yeah. Bleed Studios at right. that, too. That was such a freaking cool name. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was just well, like, the whole time. Studios. I remember I did a bunch of Marvel books and you couldn't yeah. bleed the artwork off. Hmm. That had to be within the panels. And I, I always yeah, yeah. I never realized that. You know, full bleed is a different kind of uh, process. Oh, yeah. so I just interesting. Called full bleed. Yeah. But that was back, yeah, back when was, a lot of books weren't even full bleed yet. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No shit, I didn't know That's that. Yeah, we're going back. We're going back to the 80s. Oh, wow. Or maybe just the Hulk wasn't full bleed. I don't know. But it was a big mm -hmm. deal to me, so I named my company. Because <laughs> all, <laughs> I mean, all the pages are going to be full bleed for... Yeah. From now on, you know, That's the bigger awesome. the paper, the better. Well, regardless, it had it just had a cool name to it, you know. And that was yeah. one thing that was cool. It about was this. weird though, uh, incorporating though. It was kind of weird. You know? Oh, I bet. Are you been bet. going to the bank? Yeah. Now you got you a blood donor uh, company or something? <laughs> <laughs> a blood donor company? Yeah. Didn't I'm you like, do? <laughs> didn't you do Dragon I, Force too with Malibu? I did Dragon Force. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I did say. Dragon Ring. Yeah, did all the dragons. Samurai. The dragons. <laughs> Samurai was my first book you did ever. Oh my you God. did one of the warlock issues too. My dad has, or two yep. of them. Warlock. Of them. Yeah, that was uh, when was that? Like Pit 80, 80. It was before I was born. It was the year before I was born. Eighty-eight. I want to yes. say it was 88. eighty-eight. I mean, I'm not too sure. I know you did a couple. Was it sixteen, seventeen, or fifteen and sixteen? I'm trying to think of what my father has <laughs> because I grew up reading all of it. It's a lot. Yeah, the air cell <laughs> stuff. Oh my God, we're going back. I mean, you've worked everywhere. Image, DC, Marvel. I've done a little bit of DC, <laughs> but uh, a lot of air cell. Yeah, you did Superman at D a DC. Of one of the Superman. I think it was yeah, Superman. I did, you did, I, DC. did, I did one issue and a bunch of covers. Yeah. Mm. I did the issue with Jeff Loeb where it's the pot. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like the puppy part. That was fun. It's like drawing this little cartoon puppy. I had most Hail of those Lord behind Lord. me. What ones? Uh, uh, let's see. I got Samurai, Dragon Ball. Oh, Lord. Samurai. Oh, no. I got a bunch of your stuff behind me. <laughs> I think the nice. last things, the last two things I remember you doing at Marvel that I saw was in 2019. I mm -hmm. want to say one was um, Avengers 25 or 26. I could be yeah. wrong. I, 25 or 26. Yeah, and then it was here. The Incredible Hulk, Last Call. Right. I think the last the last cover I did for Marvel was Hulk versus Predator. I think yeah, that was the last thing I ever did. Comes out in October, right? It's right, pre order yeah. right now. Oh, nice. That's a long mm -hmm. time. It's been sitting around for years. Wow. Hey, you did the Incredible Hulk, what was it, 367 until like, what was it, 398 yeah, three, or something like that? I think Incredible it was, run. Was it 367. <laughs> and then Sam Keith had 368, and I started again on 369. I think that's what happened. Mm. But yeah, Sam Keith did that issue where it was uh, Hulk versus Mr. Hyde. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is Mr. Hyde. Yep. Uh, oh, the Amber says, <laughs> Kayla's catalog knowledge is beautiful. And she's a pretty girl, too. Oh, I like I like hearing about my comic knowledge because comics <laughs> are my passion, you know. Yeah, it's a lot. I get to talk about it on here a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. I just I grew up grew up with it, you know. I'm like I said, I'm a second gen collector. My dad had no boys. I know about comics and football. <laughs> that's like, that's my thing, you know. So, when I said like that was the reason why we added uh, Kayla to the show because Sean and I, besides getting to know her, really loved her uh comic knowledge. Book knowledge yeah, yeah. So, I mean, right because we would look at stuff on our show and we just talk about the art because him and i are artists and that's I, what really gets us you know but she would come on and actually add it 
add something to our show mm-hmm. because she started talking about the story and the stuff that we were looking at. So it just it worked great. You know, she's legitimate. Knows she's awesome. She's Has anybody ever stumped you? Like a like, couple, a couple of times question. I've been stumped at the store. Like I definitely have. Time. If I haven't, if I haven't read something, then I don't know. Mm-hmm. That you know, that's what I can say, and I'm honest about that. I'll say I don't know. Is it worth reading? I'll ask a person basically, like, what is it about from their point of view? What is it that drew you to it? So for me, uh-huh. a lot of the times, yes, art can draw me in, but I can read something, and if the story doesn't captivate me, I'm lost. I like it to be on par with each other you know there are definitely yeah. things i have just bought in for art you know especially mm-hmm. if it's art adams right, right. <laughs> yeah i, I would would buy do that too. i would buy anything art adams it's like one of those artists i would do that with mm-hmm. i i just you i know? i can't wait till um so joe does an art adam show at one point mm-hmm. but i have mm-hmm. to record a witchblade Appreciate art book it. that i just got and send it to him because yeah because we're gonna look well, at that that sounds awesome the what yeah, I, she I got mean, a Witchblade art. art book. It's, it's, it's just got some sick. fantastic pieces in it. It's just, nice. it's just crazy. Yeah, I read the books, but I do look at the art too. Like I, I love to look <laughs> at the art. I love comic book art, and I love finding out like the techniques the artists used. And that's how I became friends with Joe. In all honesty, it was his artwork and Reaper Destroyer, and then I talked about the story. You know, I just I fell in love with the story so much. I hit him up. I wanted to interview him because I have. I'm on a small uh-huh. stream and I like to right. interview creators and I keep it focused on the creator and their work and, you know, their projects. I don't interview to talk about myself. I know there are some people that do that, but that's not me. I'm, <laughs> I just wanted to interview yeah. him and then we became friends, you know, oh, so right. that's how it worked mm-hmm. out. That's I mean, you're, you're not a poser. Mandy's not a poser. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. No posers here. <laughs> Uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to bring this to a close. I have to get up early, so unfortunately, we're going to jump off here. But before we do, uh, just thank you, everybody, for coming on for the reveal of the Joe Chiotto Colors Over Dale Keown variant cover that came out Amazing. absolutely gorgeous. So we back this on the Reaper Destroyer campaign today. Link in description below. I really um, it. Yeah, it came out so good, man. Great. So good. And I've got the original here. They'll be framed oh, at some point. so I've got beautiful. Back in I sure wish I had one to hang up on my wall in a poster I, for him. Just yeah, saying. I'm gonna have to think about doing that. <laughs> and a t-shirt. I like t-shirt. And a t-shirt. You know, All the good maybe, ideas. <laughs> maybe a tank top for me so I can cut Ooh, it low cut. You know that I can do. Yes. Yeah. I love to yeah, cut them up. We'll That's that my out. favorite thing. You're right. <laughs> uh, what do you, cut, you cut them lower cut too? Ever or? I cut them all different ways. I even like to cut a fringe and stuff. <laughs> I do a bunch of crazy <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing stuff. wrong with a good fringe. Good That's true. fringe brings. I love a fringe. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of work, though. <laughs> it's actually fairly simple. Thank you, Hill Lord. Mm-hmm. Can't you get those scissors that give you like a fringe? You know? I just see, I use the hair, my hairdressing shears and just, <laughs> you know, shears. it cuts through anything. I love her accent. I'm like, <laughs> just God, t-shirt I'm, pasties. I like it. I could listen to her talk all night. <laughs> right. I wonder if that's what people mean when they say they can listen to me talk all night. And I'm like, yes. how? That's how, yeah, could, yeah. how could you do Excellent that? Great. But uh, now I say time. it. Now I say it. I could. I could literally go to sleep listening to Kayla talk. So I tell Mandy that every day. That. That. I love that accent. <laughs> it's so no, you just sound badass. Like I sound ditzy as fuck, but you sound like <laughs> I don't know. You just sound like you cut a bitch. You know what I mean with your accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't make me cut you. We had his nails up here. What can hot I say? Nails. <laughs> Poor Joe's trying to end the stream. Here we are. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'll, I'll, oh no, you're fine. Uh, before we go, I'm just the, the floor. We're gonna go around the clock like we always do. So, okay. Mandy, refresh. Gem shock. We're gonna yes. refresh here because you did have a backer. So, here we go. There oh you my go. gosh! Thank that you. So yeah. so nice. damn close. Thank Getting you, there. thank you. Um, so yeah, you guys, uh, you can get this on Indiegogo. It'll be up for you know till November, December time. So uh, you do have time, but please yes. go and check it out if you have not already. Um, I also have a sign up page for my. So next you can book. you can get it as a like a Christmas present. You can, yes. There you go, perfect timing. Um, nice. So yes, and on uh on my next book, uh, the sign up page is available. It's a Jack the Ripper Vampire Hunter book number two. Nice. 
uh, you can get signed up for that on Indiegogo. I'll send you guys um, when the campaign goes live. Um, you guys are going to get like a little secret perk. And I'm probably going to throw in some kind of card or something. Just something cutesy for you guys, just for yeah, all the support. Like and then um, also I have another book that is up on pre-launch right now that I'm doing with Mark Poulton. Uh, we are co-writing it together and it's called Coney Waves. Uh, so you guys can yeah. go and check that out as well. Get signed up for that. Uh, that and, looks cool. Yeah, really, really excited. I got lots of stuff coming soon. So yeah, you guys, please follow me over on my YouTube channel, Mandy Summers. Um, on Twitter and Instagram, it's Wart the Wizard. And uh, yeah, let's see. It's Saturday night. I'll be on with Snow Dub uh, for something called the Cotton Connection. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but I, I said I would go. So <laughs> I'll go into that. <laughs> what night is that? Saturday? That is Saturday night, yeah. And, yeah. Oh, and Friday night is Ballers, Ballers and we Ballers. will be on uh, hey, Patrick's channel. This, yeah, I think it's Patrick's channel this week. So make sure you follow uh, what Patrick Pat, Thomas what Patrick's, Parnell. What if he gets his own t-shirt made? Oh, maybe shit. he's got some kind of vengeance. You know, we didn't do anything. No, we didn't do nothing to Patrick. But maybe he just wants to get in on it. Well, hopefully it'll be towards you and not me. But we know better, don't we? Shh. Oh, my God. I never thought of that. It could be you. Oh, my God. hes I think he's mad at me. <laughs> no, he's not. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> no, now Dale's worried. Yeah. Um, but yes, you guys, uh, thank you, uh, Joe, Kayla. It was so great meeting you. Seriously, so I just nice adore you. you. <laughs> um, and you guys in the chat, y'all fucking rock over here. So love you all so much. Yeah, it's been a fun, fun show, guys. Mm -hmm. Having you guys so has fun. been awesome. Um, Kayla, we're going to jump to you. To we'll talk. Okay. Hours. So we have three hours left. Um, basically, if you're here. into gore. Zombies, we, we definitely got a couple backers. Oh, we are. Yeah, we know that because I, I looked. So thank you so much for everyone nice. that went out and backed because by um, you guys backing this Death Curse campaign, you guys are putting me <laughs> on like on the way to release my book, Crimson and Alabaster, which is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a sci-fi horror um body horror western with an albino horror. slave and I an like ex-prostitute as the star mm. of the book so i can't wait to um start writing that but um i'm with death curse i'm their editor death curse has its own channel it's usually the guys screwing off doing draw <laughs> streams me coming in sometimes trying to bring order to their chaos and then i host my interviews there on thursdays although i don't have any interviews lined up for the next couple weeks or anything i haven't found anything that has caught my eye um mm. to be honest so <laughs> Um, yes, back if you are interested, no pressure. I mean, but you should back and check it out, especially if you're into the old newsprint style, eighties nostalgia and like gore and hot girls and zombies. Oh, my favorite so book. yes. And, um, yeah, otherwise I'm here with Joe every Tuesday streaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next Tuesday, so we're going to be looking art. at the, uh, cyber force omnibus. That yes. I, got. I can't nice. wait to look through cyber force. Nice. Yeah. It takes me back. <laughs> is that a uh, is that a hardcover? Yeah, it's uh. It must be. It must, must, oh. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me grab it real yeah, quick before we get out of here. And then eventually, I have to like get the R. Adams yeah. stuff uh, recorded because I got a crap ton of R. Adams art books I'm waiting to go through. I can imagine. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll probably cry on the stream. I just love that oh, man. Oh, that's so that sweet. Man. People love that. <laughs> Look at the cyber force. There we go. Ah! Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah. This is just when everyone made everything. Like, this looks fucking cool. So I'm mm -hmm. going to make this just like this. That's exactly. I yeah, this is like, great. It looks like a matte finish. I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I don't think it's, I don't think it's gloss. I think yeah. you're right. I think it's matte. Yep. <laughs> You know what I definitely think? Beautiful. Artist editions. Joe, you got to do an artist edition. And Dale, when you do your pit book, please make an artist edition. Is that Look the big it. oversized? Yes. Oh, I love yes. that. Yes. Um, oh, oh, my God. Why can't I think? Is it Andy oh, yeah. Smith is doing one with Cordroth? I'm going to do one with the- I think uh, everybody should. I mean, they're great. I love artist editions. Fucking and an artist of your caliber do. doing an artist edition? Yeah, I want to do an artist edition of the like the first story that showed up in uh, Youngblood. <gasps> it's like eight, it's it's short. It's like eight pages. I have do all it, do it, do it. Awesome. 
Yes, All I have to do yeah. is scan them and send them to somebody. I will buy lots of them. I, oh, I'm I gonna will do that. Buy I can that. Get that going right away. Yeah, you should. Damn. Any, anything it. like oh that God. that you have, you should you should get going right away. Right. Because you could make some one instant money out of it. And, and the pages are, you know how sometimes you see the old comic books and you see the yellowing? Yes. Yeah. Those yeah. Four pages are all yellow. Nice. They look like not horrible, but, <laughs> but they I'm look, so they look antique. I love artist antique. editions. Like I love everything about just the scans of the original work Sean, and yeah. just put it together. Yeah. And we can yeah, go yeah. over it here. And Sean will be back at that time too. Yes. <gasps> Shout out to Sean. Everybody's doing That's good. Sean. Hopefully he'll be back sometime soon. His mom's doing a little bit better. Yeah, I so I love I love those products. I miss you, Sean. Yeah. I miss Sean yeah, so much. Do. I'm gonna send him a Robin chart. I'm still Aww. on that. Yes, Sean. <laughs> Me and thousands of people. That's Lucky Sean. Sean. Well, I don't know who the Sean guy is. But Artist wow. edition. Sean, Sean is, is my, art, Sean. my co-host on Ott and Stuff. When you be on oh, that Ott. guy. Yeah. Yeah. He had to take awesome. his, mom, his mom was ill, so he's been oh. off for the last few months taking care I of his mom. I did not know that. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, taking a shot you know. for Sean. Yeah. Okay, I'll take a shot for Sean. Yeah. Take a shot. Take a shot for sure. But his mom's doing better. Um, hopefully, maybe we'll see him down the line. But he always wants to let everybody know he appreciates everybody reaching out. Hey, and Sean. his mom appreciates it as well. So I took my shot already, guys. Sorry. Oh, well, but to Sean. Sean. <laughs> Sean's mother. But shout um, out. and Sean has his book too. He's in the sign up process for his book, type this one. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I'm trying to do a good All job. I'm trying to do a good job. I'm not taking Sean's place or anything, but I'm here as like kind of like a yeah, villain he's, he's for he's him good. for a little bit. I think absolutely that's how it's working. But I can't replicate Sean and his hotness, so I try. <laughs> I know everyone was there for Sean's looks every week. That's right. I try. Yeah. I'm not that's as right. good looking, Sean. Uh, know, every time he got on the trip. camera, I left a snail trail. Yeah, you know? uh, <laughs> I mean, every time I couldn't control myself. <laughs> Nobody's supposed to know about that. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, drink for Sean. Yeah. I'm going to now. <laughs> All right, guys. We are going to bring this thing. Yeah, you're talking more. Uh, my, uh, my name is Joe Sontar. I know. Actually, I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. It uh, sounds like it. it's getting raspier. Thursday, I will be on with Rini, Isaac Bell, and Mark Poulton talking about their projects. And then Tuesday, right back here at 10 o'clock for... The Cyber Force Omnibus. So that's it. Go back, Reaper Destroyer, and uh, everyone have a great night. And as Thanks. always, <clears throat> go find Gem Shock. Go find Rot City of Rot. Rot City. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, you got it right. You got it right. Yeah. <laughs> Three hours on it. <laughs> that's right. Three You're hours left. There. Three hours left. Go check it out. And as always, picture me naked. Talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all. <laughs>